Is it working? Yes, it's thank God it's working. How the fuck are they going to start us? Uh, you did a swear, now I'm going to get banned on Twitch. No! Would you guys like to know a very specific curse I seem to have? No. This, anyways. <laughs> anytime I go to the store to buy one specific item, not like a group of items, just one item in particular, I something bad always happens. You want do you want to hear the story of how I scarred my knee permanently? Man, I want I did that to myself once. I did that to myself twice. One time by turning on a uh, on a treadmill full uh, to full speed and trying to jump onto it when I was like twelve, and uh, the skin on my legs was gone. And the other time was when I fell in the pothole on the Fourth of July and there was blood everywhere. Mine wasn't so interesting. Mine was, I just went to get milk. <laughs> That's so way funnier than my stories. L literally, literally, literally how it went was like I was in high school back when this happened. And I, w I walked into the backyard where my grandma and all the dogs were. She said, hey, uh, we don't have any milk and I need milk to make dinner later. Can you go up to Family Dollar? And get a two gallon of milk. It's like, all right, I can do that. Oh no! So I'm a grand. I help my grandmother. And so yeah, I'm walking up to Family Dollar. They go. Everyone just goes across the main road. They just cross the parks. They just wait for the cars to clear, and then they just run across. So I I run across. And as I'm reaching the other side with the sidewalk. Turns out, one block of the sidewalk had gotten raised up like by like two inches from like the other sidewalks. So I as I'm like finishing door. my sprint, I'm hopping over and I trip on that fucking block of sidewalk, and I just go flying. I fucking tear open my pants, skin all, skin is just gone on my knee. I am bleeding a lot. Blood is running down my leg. Oh, I am in a I am in a lot of pain. <laughs> so what do you think I do? Did you go get that fucking milk. I I, I literally I literally hey, just hey, get no, up no, and no, get no, the no, milk. No, no, that. I'm gonna get copyright claimed. I literally just get up and get the milk. It's like I'm in a lot of pain, but I gotta get that milk. <laughs> Grandma needs it. You better have gotten yeah, that milk. I, I walk into the I I. I walk into the store like nothing's wrong. I, I'm cashing out the milk. It's like, how's your day been? It's like, f fine. And then I like tore up my knee and I lift up my knee just soaked with blood. He's like, Ugh. Oh, that's so funny. I, I go home. I put the milk in the fridge, go in the back. I got the milk. Also, I fucked up my knee. <laughs> okay, you were a good boy. You got the milk for your grandma. You had I, got, I got the milk. You so anyways, what happened What happened this time was I, I went to get toilet paper and I got jump scared in real life, not fake. I got jump scared by a butterfly landing by my window the other day, okay? So it can't, it can't possibly be that humiliating. I, I, I just got jump scared by a guy on a bike because I have a fear of bikes. I, I feel like that's a story for another time, your fear of bikes. A, so a story for another time of what happened and why a child went to the hospital. Yeah, good storytelling. But, but that's a story for another day. Now, back to now tonight for Dungeons and Dragons, but in space with, with Star Wars. This episode of the Spaghetti Western. This episode of Star Wars, uh, Eric tries... This is a special episode of this DD series where Eric tries to fix the Star Wars sequels. Uh, 
Are you fixing them? Because from what I understand, you didn't change anything. You just went, so, okay, so after all that nonsense, this happens. <laughs> no, basically my method of fixing them is saying, okay, they're not great, but they'd be much better if everything was really, really bad after them. <laughs> if everything got so much, if everything got worse after them, then I'd be like, okay, now I get it. It's like, that's my methodology. It's like, Make everybody's life in the galaxy as miserable as possible. I just heard somebody knock on their do door. Oh, that was the sound of my dog coming into my room. Aww, you doggy. She's a good girl. Is, it, okay. is this a good sized dog or a bad sized dog? It's a. Uh, it is a medium. <laughs> it, it, it is a medium dog. Any dog she, bigger she is than. A bigger... Sorry. I'm pretty sure she is a very itchy baby. She has lots of skin diseases so, and allergies. Before oh, I ask for the recap, so, I'm gonna just say yeah. one thing. Any dog bigger than a pug is legally a horse, and horses suck. <laughs> what? Any I, I dog don't know. any <laughs> dog two statements, and I don't know which one's both. <laughs> I, first off, I hate horses. Second off, any dog <laughs> bigger than a pug. <laughs> Any dog bigger than a pug is a horse. Why do you hate horses? Alright, uh, guys, first I mean, of all... I mean, are, are, you a, are you a horse person, Luke? Because if you're not, and you walk up to a horse, those sons of bitches are scary. They're huge! They're, they're huge crazy. giant monsters, and they're beautiful, and they belong in nature. No, not, and on my dinner plate, play. not they don't belong. I don't be being ridden around and, get, and pooping all over the freaking... Greenfield Village, okay? I don't know. They're just big, goofy guys. They're amazing. They have the weirdest personalities, man. That's so true. So do people. Yeah. You say horse have weird personalities, but so do people. Yeah, I don't know. People's personalities are all pretty boring. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> people should just get new personalities, okay. honestly. And has anybody here been to Greenfield Village? People should act more like horses. I don't think so. I feel like Isaac might have been there at once, at least. There's no way you haven't been. Name is familiar, but I don't think I've been there. I don't travel. You've been where? You haven't even been to the Henry Ford Museum, my dude? Look, point I've is this, never been to a museum. It's like this historical, I guess, museum slash almost borderline theme park here uh, in my local area. That, And sometimes there's horses there, and I hate them. Do they tell you that, that Henry Ford tried to force Catholicism on um, immigrants? <laughs> yes. Yep. Who has it? It was really in at the time, though. Yeah. yeah. It was a cool thing to do. Unless you were an immigrant. For the record, it's not a cool thing yeah. to do. It's especially it weird to it's force not, Catholicism. It's not anymore, but it was. Look, I'm not going to get into this discussion about people's uh, that's, historical that's, evils. That's how, that's how time, that's it's how time works. It's a great conversation in there right there. I like how we went from discussing if horses suck or not to forcing a Catholicism onto immigrants. They should be doing fucking D&D! <laughs> that's, that's because they use horses to get there to spread the word. That's oh, <laughs> that's because all the horses were Catholic. I know. I know exactly. Okay, so who's going to do the Everyone, Everyone's... I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight all of you. Who's gonna do the recap this <laughs> session? You want me to do the recap? Sure. <laughs> Whoever has a soundboard, I need you to be careful because I don't want me to get copyright struck. I, I, I fair have use. One. It's it's fair use. I'm pretty sure this words I'm one, eating. It's poison. You play one second of Rick Roll, and you don't. No one has any. No one has any idea what it is. But everyone knows what it is. He's hot. <laughs> oh God, he's hot. Who's gonna do the recap? Oh, you oh. said you were. Okay, I'm gonna do the recap. Last session, uh, you guys, uh, after a lot of drama, decided to pursue personal goals and ended up, uh, you know, hanging out and going to find the Ebon Hawk. Stuff happened. Drama. There was an Ewok. Uh, you got an Ewok. Uh, you got an Ewok jerk on your ship. It's got like a frat boy brain, and uh, also you fought. There was a mech. 
I got love one. This orange is gonna give is orange is gonna kill me. There's something wrong with this orange, but I'm gonna keep eating it anyway. Um anyways. So you guys decided, hey, best course of action, try to end this stupid three-way civil war in Corellia. Try to make it a more decent place to live with. Uh so you made some phone calls, you got some information from some friends. You combined your knowledge. You talked to uh, Lord Bridger in an alleyway. And now you guys are just kind of hanging out on Corellia, waiting the next step of your plan. Did I get everything? Oh, we got. Oh, we got the Ebon Hawk in there. Yeah, you got the Ebon Hawk. Oh my <laughs> God! <laughs> that happened. What the fuck was wrong with Lord? Oh, yeah. Lord? God dang! Anyways, I want to go buy a horse. <laughs> I want to go spread Catholicism. <laughs> <laughs> that know. one's definitely going to get the copyright struck. No. At any rate, that's, that's, uh, where do we open up this game today? Where should we open up this game today? Uh, I think, <laughs> I think while Vecklin and Jin were having their, I'm betraying the party. Like, I trust you, but please don't. I think while they're having that talk, me and Simple were heading, heading over to Chopper. Did I ever get him to talk to you near the end of that? I can't remember. No. You, 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 you had us talk to his daughter, and his daughter basically gave us information on how to contact him. Oh. Or like, get get into, like, no, face we did talk to contact. Him. I can't remember. Oh, I talked to him on the phone. That's right. Yeah. I talked to him on the You're phone. You're on our way to talk to him face to face. That's right. The, 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 the big deal what we were doing is we figured out where the Star Destroyer is through this, through Bridger's contact. So we we know where they are. Jesus uh, Christ. You're gonna kill <laughs> really... I'm going to take the soundboard away from you. If you can't do Andalus responsibly. <laughs> it's on a game fight. I'm sorry. I'm In sorry. other news, does anyone want to see what I spent 100k on? I'm going to show it anyway. <laughs> Why do you ask then immediately answer yourself? <laughs> we don't want to know. <laughs> you know, this actually brings me into where I want to go because all of this stuff is being pulled out of junkyards and being delivered to Izu. And Izu is being forced basically by, at gunpoint by the party to install this stuff. Uh, Izu, yes, you are fixing up ships and other people are helping you fix up the ship that... Uh, you know, uh, your new friend, Cece, as you call her, she's been helping you out with this. And she's just watching you do this whole thing, and she's just, like, shaking her head every time you do something. Like, just complete disapproval on her face. Pretty sure I'm going to die from eating that orange, by the way, so if you just hear me stop, I'm probably food poisoning. That orange tastes bad. Ooh. Why'd you keep eating? I don't know. It's an orange, because it's like, I love oranges, and that one, I just didn't want to admit it was bad. I was hoping each slice would be better. Okay. So, CC is, uh, do, does Izu respond to her disapproving looks? No, because he's building the ship. He's not even paying, he doesn't even notice her look. Okay, so like, she's going okay, to get, like, closer that, that. and keep shaking her head. And clearly aggressive, doing this in a passive-aggressive way, trying to get you... To acknowledge her. He still doesn't really pay attention to her, but uh, once she gets closer, he starts using the top of her head like a rack for his tools and like putting a wrench on top of her head. Like, okay, there's that. Okay, he grabs the wrench again. Easily, you're gonna screw up the ship. No, I won't. He's, no, you're gonna break the ship. You're no, not even. You're not even. You like hold this. He she's like, you plug this into this without rerouting it through this. What? Where's the triple redundancy? Shouldn't there be a quadruple redundancy here? What are you doing? No, that that wastes too much power and doesn't give enough boom. You want boom for a ship because then you can uh, divert power quicker and also get more speed. I, I don't know. This is this isn't how we build ships on Camino, Izu. Do you see what happened to the ships on Camino? Uh, they, uh, <laughs> ships on Camino do fantastic. They perform 
adequate. They perform well in. They battle. were all destroyed when they were all destroyed, and you had people landing on your base to ha attack you because they were on the ocean sunk. Hey, that's not what happened. That was more complicated. Yeah, the How complicated is that to be? They know that your ships were blown up. Let me just ask you this: Who taught you this nonsense? Who taught you that this is how you build ships? I did. What do you mean you did? Bullshit. I did. No, that's wrong. Who taught you? I taught me. How? You can't just teach yourself. But yes, you can. Oh, I understand. He kind of reached up and passed up for it. It's okay if you're not as smart. I understand. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay, she's going. <laughs> I am going to take that away from you. I will literally make a rule against you seeing it. Anyway, she's going to attempt to grapple you. It's so funny because it's exactly what Jin would do. <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, roll an athletic check. Uh, she... Is she considered medium or small? She's medium. She's a normal so size. Fifteen. It's like she's like, come here, you little shit. She's like, I'm, and uh, she tries to grapple you, and you just step out of the way. She says, I'm going to throw you in the river. Oh. No, you won't. Oh, yes, I am. We need a bath yeah, anyway. Okay, so. but you won't because you can't. <laughs> and uh, she gets really huffy, and she's like, Fine. Anyway. Okay, pass me that blowtorch again. No. Thank she you. She passes it to you. Oh. And she you. says no. And he just gets back to work. And she says that. And she says so. Do all our. Did you know a lot of mechanics growing up? Everyone was a mechanic. I've heard stories that a lot of Jawas spend a lot of time fixing things. Is that true for all Jawas? It can't be true for all Jawas, no. but... No, most of them actually spend their time taking things apart. Really? Did you yeah. grow up on there's only, uh... Eh, Tatooine. And then everyone ascended. And I was told to leave. Who told you to leave? Uh, Granny. Not your mom and dad? No, they're dead. <laughs> oh, no. What? Did you know them? I did. They were my mom and dad. It's not like I got them. I don't have them. I don't have I can those. still hear the screams. Oh, no. <laughs> what? Were you there? <laughs> <laughs> she just looks at you and says uh, very sincerely, what's it like having family? He puts down his tools. Kneel down. I already have to kneel to be face to face with you. She kneels down as much as she can. Oh, she's already? Yeah. Right. He just goes up and hugs her face. Oh, no. Are you so going? cold. We're happy to have you. Why are you lying to me? I'm not. We're happy to have you. Why are you, you lying think you're to great. me? What is happening? I'm not. I'm showing you love and affection. That's what family is about. I don't understand. Hey, let's go. He passed around that. It's because you're not as smart yet, but don't worry, you'll get there. Mm. Uh, at any rate, uh. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, anyway, we cut to. We can cut to Isaac and Semfil. Well, who's giving the feedback? Oh, it's Luke. Oh, I'm so sorry. It's all right. <laughs> get the fan. You know, my favorite fan, fan alien. I'm feedback. healing. Oh, God. I'm hearing myself in the background here, too. It's a little atypical, so I'm uh, sure. Can you still hear it? Yeah, I can. Uh. 
No, not now. At any rate, okay. sent Bill and uh. Cease. Actually, I literally, I, I'm literally getting a copyright strike, dude. It's not that. It, no, you won't. It's at any rate, uh, we're gonna cut to Semphil and uh, Isaac. Uh, you just got uh, got told how to contact Tropa Natimo. He's on a he's in a near relatively nearby battlefield, but he's kind of far away. But it's like let me put it this way: he's on the same continent as you guys are. So that's worth. It's it's a car ride away, and by a car ride I mean like an American car ride, you know. It's like oh, it'll only take a few hours to get there, and then we just do it. No only take there. five hours. Yeah, only. Is only it is it's, it worth it? Is it is it really worth it to go all the way to see him when we can just call him? Uh, no, not exactly, but uh. You know where he is in case you need to pick him up. Okay, I feel like that's enough. Unless you have something that you want to go see him for, Isaac. I mean, if we know where he is, then we know where to meet up with him once we sort out the whole Empire Eternals causing all the conflicts. So if we take them out, a lot of the conflict goes away. It's much easier to fucking store peace get them with the GFFA, blah, blah, blah. Politics, politics. I just want to just want to punch something, really. We should go to a fight club. Do they have those? Probably. Uh, would, as a bounty hunter, would I know if they have them? Defin they definitely have fight clubs here. I would be down to go hit up a fight club. <laughs> it's time club. to gamble on Isaac. <laughs> yeah. Go for a fight club and gamble on you? I'm so down. Then Fell's gambling all his money away again. <laughs> no, it's on Isaac. I'm gambling money in. That's kind of never mind. That's kind <laughs> of never mind. Yes. For somebody who can see through walls, Vecklin, you can't see very far. No, I'm just kidding. I can see far enough. <laughs> <laughs> I can see through this. So is this how you guys want to kill the rest of your days going to a fight club? We're gonna bet on Isis. I uh, yeah, I'm down. Sounds like fun. Okay, so you know that in the sewer system uh, uh, in this area, in the city, in the city of Cornet, I believe it's the city of Cornet. There is a rusty little joint not too far from the mod shop, where you know people will get in the ring, beat the living hell out of each other, called the the five figurative rant course, uh, and. Yeah, you guys can go there for a fight. All right, I'm down. So you guys go yeah, to five ranks. Tells me that you as a DM don't really want us to do this. Is that is that true? Uh, I just uh, sorry. Uh, you get uh, what were you asking? I said something tells me that you as a DM don't want us to do this. Is that is that feeling valid? I have I had oh, no God. plans for this session. I was just going to do a quick thing here because because uh, this is something that could lead into a whole storyline later, and I'm willing. Uh, I, don't worry about it. It's what you want to do as a player. So you guys head down to five ranks, uh, heading over to the uh, sewers. To, through the sewer entrance that last time you were here you went to. And you step both step foot into this smoky, dusty, underground, dingy den filled with all manner of alien, uh, alien, many of them lumpy or cybernetic or otherwise mutated or strange compared to their people. There are herglicks with massive cybernetic arms. There are Trandoshans with mutations where they've grown multiple arms in place of one arm, just like three or four arms on one side. There's this nasty, just infected-looking aqualish that's just covered in nasty hair. Uh, just the nastiest, 
creepiest beings you can imagine from all across the galaxy gathered here. They smoke, they pass money, and you see people just in this fight pit taking chunks out of each other. And uh, you guys see uh, the book, uh, the bookkeeper gets up, uh, walks up to you, and is like, "Hey, Simphil, how's it going?" Looks like we fit right in. Uh, hey, I'm I'm looking to enter my friend. I think he's a promising fighter. I think he can do really well in the in the fight rings. He looks you up and down. He says, "Sure, we can get you a few good fights this afternoon." You uh, you a gank under that helmet? One and the same. Oof. Keep the helmet on. We don't need Pete. That'll increase your odds. We don't need that. We don't need those people making safe bets. So, uh, how many fights are you gonna do this afternoon? Because uh, I want. I, I this is not. I, uh, how do I phrase this? Uh, this is not something I've prepared. But it is something I want to establish. Let's let's do the tried and true classic video game rule of threes. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> so uh, rather than doing three giant fights that I don't have prepared, uh, well, I'm just going to improvise some fights. So your first uh, your first up fight that you're going to be thrown against is going to be the Nash nasty infected Aquamish. Uh, so we're just going to do rock, paper, scissors here. And it's going to be... <laughs> we're going to do rock, paper, scissors. How do we do this in game terms? All right. Ty type it in chat. Type your answer in chat. And then I guess Simple can count it down. So I was going to roll 3d20s, and then I was going to have you roll them. And we were going to compare the... Okay. 3d... Well, that doesn't sound like rock, paper, scissors. Who, I don't. I don't last I checked, rock paper scissors it. doesn't have any numbers. Who? Well, I, 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 you know. One, paper two, scissors three. Oh my god, my brain. Uh, I like how we're like. Oh, Isaac's gonna have such a high chance to win, and he pretty much just has an equal chance to win. Oh no, I'm terrified. Okay, uh, we're gonna do. Hmm. I have no idea how to roll this. Just roll three d twenty, and whoever gets Are, the highest uh, number wins. How about fucking? Each challenger, you randomly assign its strength, and we both roll strength. Whoever gets higher strength wins. Hey, oh, I like that okay. idea. I like that. Uh, one second. Okay. Or unarmed. He's got to beat it. <laughs> well, he can't beat that because I roll for his strength, and he only has a plus. He only has a two in strength. He's a more dexy fighter. R uh, so I'm going down at a single blow. <coughs> okay, so Why are you one punch man? <laughs> he rolled a. I only have one hand. He rolled a five on his thing. Uh, I re-rolled because it was in thing, and not, you know, I accidentally jam rolled. But apparently he he's, he can't get above a five. So you destroy him. Next round uh, is against a robot. Is against a droid that just has a cylinder. In the center of it, it's like a glass cylinder, and there's just like 500 snakes inside of this cylinder, and they don't seem to be doing anything to control the robot, and it's not clear whatsoever in any way, shape, or form if old Snakey Gem is actually the snakes or the droid. Huh. <laughs> so I'm going to roll for his strength. I'm intimidated by the snakes. So old Snakey Gem is also a Dexy fighter. And old Snakey Jim <laughs> is annihilated. Either I get the nat 20 or they get the nat 1. Turns out those snakes really weren't moving or doing anything. <laughs> they were just for show. <laughs> There's not, a, no matter, this fight is not a long one, and it's not clear at all if the snakes are sapient. It's not even clear if the droid is sapient, but old Snakey Jim, uh, he takes the L. And uh, last but not least is the giant hurdling, the mechanical monstrosity, the mechanical armed monstrosity. So, uh, you, oh god, we forgot to put down bets for Simphil. Fucking, 
Yeah, we forgot to do that. I mean, you can just, just say get... how much like one bet. You know, I'm just gonna say that you. I'm going to based on these first two fights. I'm gonna say you won two thousand in the first fight, ten thousand in the second fight, and uh, we'll see if you win twenty five thousand in this last fight. Okay, time for the fight, though. Killer whale, man. Okay, I'm my man. <laughs> He's literally a cyborg killer whale. <laughs> Oh no. Nothing in personnel, kid. <laughs> so you take home a lot of money. You take home a total of 20 uh 37,000 credits from this. Uh the I'll new fighter fucking came in and cleaned house. You have made a powerful enemy tonight, an old Snakey Jim. Uh, <laughs> fucking Snakester Jim. <laughs> so for Snakey Jim. It, it's old so Snakey Jim. So if we're splitting it, it's 18,500 each, right? That's how math works. Uh, sure. I don't know. If yeah. We're, if we're splitting it. I'll double check it, but yeah, I think that's right. Math is uh, illegal. So, uh, after that clears up, you guys all eventually make your way back to the. Uh, you guys make your way back to the Arcadian Eagle uh, on the nearby. Uh, if I described what the uh, the docking pads are here, I believe I did last time. They're basically out in the water. Uh, but they're for different sizes. So you guys got the eagle and the, uh, and uh, I believe it was the sparrow. Uh, the eagle, the sparrow, and the hawk. They're all on different. Uh, they're all on, uh, the eagle and the sparrow are on their own landing pad as they're getting fixed up and repaired by dock workers and stuff, all being coordinated by Izu. And uh, Vecklin, uh, Vecklin and, uh, bleh, bleh, I remember your name. Don't tell me. Vecklin, oh my god. I must remember. Oh no. Vecklin and Jin and Izu are the other three. I I could I could Vecklin remember Jin if I was given time, okay? I'm sorry that I Jin have strokes scared. in my sleep. Jin just Jin. played that of existence. Yeah. It's, uh, we're Jin going. Is just, Jin, Jin is now going to curse God for forgetting about him. <laughs> How could you forget about me? I am the most magnificent creature ever. And it's okay because he's muted, so it's. He's the best <laughs> Don't tell Armando he's parts. muted. He doesn't know it, and it's going to be funnier when he realizes it in 20 minutes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, wasn't that The Rock? Did you know that The Rock is an episode of Star Trek? Of course he is. Did you know The Rock said, just shut up, bitch? And anyway, what is what are Jen and Vecklin doing? Well, I think we should let everyone know that we're going to be going to the Mandalorian group of the 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 people who do the drugs. The people. The other the other clan. Yeah, we we could definitely when tell every I mean tell everybody about our our information. You can, Jen. I'll just I'll just nod. Well, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna like buy a new com and hollow com, and let people know um, what we're doing. Sure. And I guess, you know, we we have our we have our way in because we have a this admiral has a drug problem, so we have a some dirt we could use. We also could try to, and also just kind of come with a game plan on how to take down this this situation because yeah clan yeah. clan jest those are the drugs yes, yes. i knew it started with the j yeah, yeah the so. clan jest is are the drug dealers so you guys reconvene at that evening uh semphil uh semphil and isaac look very proud of themselves uh you two look proud of yourselves in your own way but uh what do you do now that you guys are back at the ship We guys got a uh, guys got any preference of how to uh, 
take down this admiral. I can I make everybody a nice dinner? Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Absolutely, can make everybody a nice dinner. What do you make? Okay, great. I'm gonna make um deep fried Twinkies. <laughs> you got lots of those. <laughs> It's gonna be like Cake Boss, where like they make like crazy like characters and stuff out of cake, but it's gonna be out of Twinkies. Nice with, dinner. Here's with some fruit. Nice and some dinner. Fruit, but I got at the market. Twinkies in the shape of okay. Jawa. Twinkies and fruit. Yeah, the only thing we don't actually talk about that every person in this in this group um, that is not a droid has gained 30 pounds over the last couple months because all we've ate in is Twinkies. <laughs> We're all <just> super <laughs> malnourished. We all start to look like the Mandalorian. <laughs> the Owls are carnivorous, from what I understand. So I, Izu cannot eat Twinkies. That's the thing. He's just slowly been snacking on my birds. No big deal. Jawas are fairly omnivorous because the Jawas can literally. I kind of imagine Jawas is. Kind of being able to eat anything. Like you could probably hand a Jawa a, 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 a car muffler and they'd dig in. They're the sharks of the desert. Right. So, I feel like if we... So, Doveklin and I figured out from my contact this, that this Admiral has a drug problem. Pretty severe, too. So, if we can talk to Clan Jest... We can probably find out because, from what we know, they're the biggest uh, provider out here right now. So, if we can find who sells them that, or just have them temporarily go through us, or make up something to where she has to come to us, then uh, that's that's one way to at least see her face to face and then we can while that's hap while, while we do this we can figure out the other step of the plan do you think she do you think she's really going to come down herself oh <laughs> to no, get to no. get her drugs no like um she'll probably have like a secretary or uh, somebody who, uh, like an underling who does those things for her. But that will be our way in because once we see their face, then we know who we're looking for. Admittedly, if somebody shows up, that shuttle or whatever the heck that comes to pick up the stuff uh, will uh, definitely be allowed into the Star Destroyer if we are going to try to go into it. AKA, we dispatch however we want to do um, the person that comes and does the buying and then we uh, after that then we just get on the ship and we can get we'll land in the ship's hangar we can get in Thou, but I understand that's we're walking right into the hornet's nest that's so why I've, that's we may why want I've to come up with a good plan oh okay Sorry, I just ruined your deal. Um, anyways. <clears throat> yeah, what do you guys think? I mean, that sounds like a good plan to me. We, we, we redirect her from her supplier to us. And what are you supposed to do when we get onto the ship? Just... Destroy things. We haven't gotten that far. What do you think of the plan? <laughs> Maybe. I, I feel the fact that you haven't gone that far means it needs work. That's that's why we're here. That's I love the plan. We're talking. <laughs> oh, keep doing great work, Simphil. It smells <laughs> great in there. <laughs> Just like calm Lincoln. Like I think the plan is great. <laughs> Uh, Izu also calmly and saying, if we play Jawa Rock at some point during the plan, then I think it's great too. And then Boro speaks up and says, okay, I've got an idea. One of us oh. flies at the ship going into hyperspace, and that will just explode the whole galaxy. <laughs> you can do that if you want, but I don't really that's, want to. That's not how hyperspace works. No, nah, if you fly at something and you're going in hyperspace, then it just explodes everything. I saw it in a mood in a hollow vet. 
You were about to say movie. No. no. He's uh, He's been watching a lot of TV. Um, a lot of hollow vids ever since he got on, so... Movies are fiction. Well, I'm telling you, it's a real thing that can happen. You fly your ship in hyperspace, and... Ah, ah, he says this is a uh, mask. He electrocutes him. He said, I hate this thing. I hate this vocoder mask. Sure. <laughs> All right. Oh, I offer to make it better, but you keep saying no. No, I don't want you. You are saying that? Yeah. Oh, that's so much funnier. It's just that every time he talks, he gets electric. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, okay. um... Uh, yeah, hey, Ve Vecklin... Uh, I, yeah, um, Vecklin, I, want, I definitely want you to come with me. Um, does anyone else want to come along and talk to Clan Jess? Can I pack them um, to go bags? <laughs> well, sure. I mean, I'll come with you, obviously. Um, I will so, throw that. I will throw this out there quickly. Um, sorry to cut you off, but the fact of we're gonna go to Clan Jess. Hey, can we go? Where does this admiral always meet you? Why do you want to see us? We're gonna kill her. She's a really good customer of ours. <laughs> Why do we want to kill her? No, no. Here's the best part. They're, they they will never know. CC speaks up and says, how would they not know that you stole their customer? There's a flaw. There's one of 28 flaws in this plan that I'm saying. 28 flaws. <laughs> Who's talking? I don't know. This is CC, the clone girl. Yeah. Uh, well, you see, we redirect her. And when we redirect her, it won't be us that does it. It will be other people that do. We'll be posing as somebody else. And when Jess finds out, Clan Jess finds out, they'll go after these non-existent people. While we will help them find these non-existent people. You see, we so, create an enemy for Clan Jest for them to go after. So he poses the people, and then they go after the people. What stops right. them from going after us when they figure out where the people? They'll never find out that we're the people. Because uh, we'll tell them everything that's going on. We create a fiction. Uh, we create buyers. Okay. Once we create these these uh not buyers uh, these uh these um personas no 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 once we create these people these production uh produce people not produce whatever whenever we create these drug dealers we create them as complete fiction like bigger than life uh personalities that always stand out okay. And then we tell Clan Jest about it, and we help them go find them. And while we do that, we could also ask for inf information like, okay, well, how do these guys know this? How do these guys know that? Or we just help, we just tell them, hey, there's another player in town. You might want to figure it out. And then while that's happening, they're preoccupied looking for these non-existent people. We pose as them, the Mandalorians, and we get to know who the supplier is from there then when that happens we say that oh look we found them they were trying to get these people and then you know we just basically have them running around in circles do you have mandalorian armor no but i can look like one do you have a way of making sure every single member member of their clan is preoccupied searching for these new buyers do you know how big a Mandal? This is CC talking. Do you know how big a Mandalorian clan is? You don't have to distract everybody. You just have to distract the head. I can distract everybody. You see? You need to distract everybody because if one person sees us, the whole thing falls apart. Not everybody. Yeah, I can get everybody. Looking, not everybody looks at every single piece of information. They're underlings. 
The boss looks at everything. Their underlings have something else. Their underlings have something else. The muscle doesn't see everything. Yeah, they, all, all they need is one underling to look at us, our piece of information. And, and as he okay. speaks up again, she says, yeah, and they're not going to... They're not going to send their under underlings with these drugs to Admiral What's Her Face. They're they're going to send the underlings with, to this admiral. They're not going to send their head. If you distract the leader, it's not going to change anything about their drug deliveries. I think you guys are understanding. If you if we make if we change their priority from the drug. From the person, just one person. We, we don't know. They don't have to know that we're specifically looking for this person. That'd be giving them too much information. We just tell them that there's somebody else selling this drug. All they need to do is go and look for that person. While they're busy looking for that, we slip in and do it for them. Or we even offer to say that we'll do it for them. You know, we'll do it for them. Because we know that that maybe that these are that maybe they're a target or something we'll be you know there as backup or we'll just do the deal ourselves we can come up with something it doesn't all not every single person will be looking at us that's why we create a fiction that other people look at so we create a lie and then we get them to have us look into the lie we made yeah and this accomplishes because they're, they're not looking in that direction anymore. We are now. Ex it gets them... It gets them to... <laughs> Perhaps... If the idea is to get Clan Jest on our side, there might be a few less steps we could take to do that but still in your still, still your same vein we could try we could figure out we could fig we have to figure out who this person is that's picking up the drugs and we could make it look like clan jess is getting ripped off which would then make clan jess go after the admiral because they're pissed off because they didn't get their money or something Everyone shows up at the deal. Something goes wrong. We steal the ship. We get back into the Star Destroyer. It pisses off Jess. They don't know it's us that did it. They go after the Admiral. Meanwhile, there'll be a distraction at the Admiral while we get into the ship. Might be a little simpler. That's, that sounds great. Oh. CC speaks up and she says, I think the main thing is that the only way that we, the only idea we can have to get onto that ship is somehow through Clan Jest. So either we gotta kill everybody in Clan Jest. I don't think Clan Jest would deliberately help us because they want to make money. And how they make money is by giving drugs. I mean, admittedly, we have a lot of money. I don't know how much these drugs are worth. We could always just pay them off. But then... Money talks. It definitely does. But we just... I don't want us to become the priority. I want us to, you know, like, just kind of slip in. I understand. Like, nobody knows. Yeah, I mean, if... yeah. It's just the idea we could also just pay Clan Jest, and they would just, with their blessing, they would allow us to knock them off. You know what I mean? And we just show up at the deal, we ax the people, we go into the ship, Clan Jest doesn't care because they got paid. Admittedly, they are very well aware of us. It's not a sly, that is for sure. You know what? Uh, everybody roll a lore. Anybody who wants to roll a lore check on this on these drugs, a and roll an insight on Clan Jest. Anybody who wants to, uh, I'll see what I can give you. Okay, so first off, 
2020 vision, baby. I feel like I should give it to you. I feel like I need to give it to you for some reason. He does not know shit about drugs. He Do finally failed. <laughs> he did it. He failed. <laughs> Yeah, Izu, he saw, uh, he saw a PSA, he saw a VHS he found in the desert once about how drugs are bad, and he's been freaked out about them ever since. Cartoon, car a cartoon turtle told him that drugs are bad, and he did not like that. Uh, so, I'm going to give this to Jen. Jen, you know about the Gormani extract. Gormani extract is one second uh, I have to take my heads off first headphones off for a second uh, Gormani extract is essentially it's like there's this small miniature jungle hippopotamus roughly the size of a pug native to the moon of the planet Trandosha and there's this little thing it's just this little thing it's just this little guy and they the Trandoshans they capture them, and they squeeze them, and uh, the little Gormani stops being alive, but they get a little bit of this stuff out of it, and that's what Gormani extract is. It's not particularly rare, but it's a little bit hard to manufacture because of this specific one. But it's not that, it's pretty, ex it's pretty expensive, though, it's not cataclysmically expensive. To put it this way, this would not be one person taking this drug on a Star Destroyer is not a revenue stream by any stretch of the imagination. Like, the amount of money they'd be making for the amount of effort they put in to get this drug onto the Star Destroyer is disproportionate. And who got the highest insight there? Uh, unless it's with advantage me, it looks like. Okay. Vecklin... You've been around the block once or twice. You don't know much about this drug. You know a little bit about it. And I guess that Isaac, you know this too. They're not delivering these drugs. If the if Clan Jest is delivering the drugs to the Empire Eternal, they're not doing it for money. They're doing this as a political favor uh, to get political garner political favor. From the Empire Eternal. I see. So just as just to the Empire kind of are on least they're they tolerate each other. They're in this they're in this they're on the same team in a sense. I guess enemy of my enemy. Yeah, that's fair. So that means we're not which means this stuff isn't very expensive, but that means probably we're not going to be able to just say, hey, where is it? And they're just going to be like, yeah, go knock them off. It probably won't be as simple. I mean, not not to make over overcomplicate this and stuff, but is it, is it that hard for us to kind of just try to figure out using detective work to try to figure out where they make this deal every so often and just show up there so we can see what they do? We how often they do it? Could, could, could Izu, like, hack Jest? And see if we can figure out, like, you know, correspondence and how often this happens. Because then we can make a plan. It's really easy. We should hijack a shipment and do a classic D&D &D train heist. Classic. <laughs> that's, I mean, that's the thing. We don't really know where they make the drop-off or the pickup. Do they go right to the start of story? Do they, are they right on Corellia? Do they stop on a moon somewhere? Yeah. Is it open space? We really don't know where they do this. I had a thought. What's that? What about like protocol? Like what what do we do if we do get the ship and we start heading for the destroyer and they ask us for like codes or something? That's the thing we're gonna need to get if we're gonna get inside the ship. Which admittedly if we had a ship from the Empire, their ship would have like clearance codes on it. Because they transfer the clearance codes back and forth. Not like somebody knows a secret code in their head, unless they are that they, they are that antiquated. I mean, it, it works for the gang home world. Yeah, but they're Empire's, they're the Empire's em different. They're 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 the Empire. They're all bureaucracy and weird shit like that. 
Declan, you guys do know where the shit is. Anybody in the Empire is smart enough to remember it goes in living in a different world. Cece does speak up when you guys say this, and she says, the only thing we'd really need to get is Clan Jest's passcode for delivering these drugs and figure out how they deliver them. If they deliver right to the ship, no. Plus, how much do they have? I mean, we did, we said it wasn't that much, but, I mean, they'd, like, drop off a shipment. That's a lot. You know, it's not just a guy run, running over there with a baggie. <laughs> What's the drug called? Gormani Extract. So, let me ask you this. Like, for this information that we're looking for, for, like, where the shipment would happen, et cetera, et cetera, you know, where we can get codes. Um, who outside of Clan Jest would know that information? And the Empire. And the Empire Eternal. If they're making a secret clandestine deal, uh, then the only people that would know that are Clan Jest or officers in the Empire Eternal. Apparently the Jest Ascendancy. Wait a minute. <laughs> what is it, Veclan? Nothing. No, you went quiet and looked to the distance. That's something. I don't usually look, so I'm just being honest. But <laughs> you can't look into the distance. Okay, he doesn't have eyes. <laughs> I know, but it's a turn of phrase. Hold on, guys. I'm going yeah. through my filing cabinet of backgrounds I can call upon. That's oh, no! <laughs> I, I'm, I'm discerning the ones that let me just have a free house and the ones that don't. Jin, your contact. Yeah? If they really know where this ship is, does that mean we have an inside man somewhere? Possibly. Or a woman. Don't need to judge. Inside man's a general term. I know. I was. I... <laughs> <laughs> Two people being smart to each other. We <laughs> first. I don't normally look, and then this. It's just. Oh my god! Everybody is in a boat. Everybody's a sassy tonight. <laughs> We're real right. sassy. Um, All right. Jin. Right. Yeah. Could you tell us a little more about your contact? I mean, I don't. I mean, I I only brought Vecklin just because he was so interested in learning. Um, I I don't really want everyone to know, you know, because like, you know, the less the less information you know, the less you'll get, you know, the safer you are. Why would I be unsafe to know this information? It, information can get kind of dangerous. I don't want anything to happen to you. Well, this is the reason I never told you either. All right. All right. Trust me. And I do it telepathically. No. <laughs> I force whisper to you. It's like, if you ever tell anybody, I'll fucking kill you. <laughs> no, no. Uh, okay, so... Oh my God. <laughs> I will. I'm just gonna call a clan jest, um, you know, on the holocon, the new one that I bought. I mean, Jen, if you really want, I mean, you could still use your plan, and you could create some larger than life figure, change the way you look over a holocon, and just that's, a, that's per, exactly what I'm doing. Pretend and you're myself, somebody else, I or you make can just stuff look like uh, Apelek. Okay. Applic Ren. speaks up and says, or you could just ask if they have the Gormani extract. You know, see if we can <laughs> confirm that they have this. Wait, if they're the dealers, maybe they deal it to multiple people and we can intercept one of them. I mean, very much. We, you could just, Jin, maybe you could just ask to buy some drugs. <laughs> and then they would just show up. <laughs> Finally, we got to the point of the game where we can buy drugs. Finally, <laughs> drugs. Yes, so like that, and CC that... speaks, up and, speaks up and says, yes, let's just buy drugs. 
Of course, well, like, I if, snuck onto a ship of lunatics. If wait, if we do that, it'll lead it back to us. So when the men don't return, they'd investigate us. Okay, that's why I'm gonna create this image so that they have an enemy to look at. <laughs> uh, roll me a pure luck plane. check first off. I, I I haven't done anything yet. All right, if you're gonna when you do that. Okay. Okay, there's a luck check. Hmm. Okay. Don't worry about it. Okay. So. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Forget about it. Anyway. Forget about it. Okay. So, uh, does anybody besides me just make myself look like one of the people that are trying to kill us? Does anybody else have like an have like an idea of what um. Uh, what this what this uh, person should be like this flamboyant extravagant personality ooh, ooh, that you I know not, yeah make them a trap a what <laughs> what the fuck I Izu you have stepped in a landmine I Isaac is 40 he doesn't know what that is no, 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 I mean, make them a trap. Here, he pulls out some Boombas. <laughs> oh my god, that's... So, so you want them to be, like, a droid with a bomb in them? Yee. Oh, no. <sighs> that's... I have a great idea. Hey, oh, no. Becklin, Becklin, can you give me your... Can you come, uh... Can you get, um... Uh... KM88 over here? Why? He's gonna... His, his new name from now on... Is, cl uh, um, uh, Cameron. What, no, uh, let, what's a name that just like, what's a, hmm, what? A M. <laughs> That's what he prefers to be called. Kami. Oh, perfect. <laughs> Call me. Wow. Uh, Kami. Where, where is what, this what's a, going? What's a name. What's I don't know. Draws attention? We're having fun. Don't worry about it. What's a name that draws attention? When you think of it, you're like, whoa. Cesario. I'm a Kazi man. <laughs> oh that's that's what like that. John Kamikaze. Hey, uh, that's KM, potentially come here, come offensive. Here. Come here. Come here, KM. No, I don't want to. <clears throat> I, I pull out a restraining bolt. Don't make me use this. Oh my god, we are terrible people. What do you mean, we? I spent 500 okay, right, credits you guys are terrible people. I spent 500 credits on this droid, and it's not, <laughs> it's not, a, it's not a slave. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, didn't fucking... Didn't Vecklin himself, like, when he first bought KM, is like, you're not a slave, you have free will, you can do what you want. And now Jin is threatening him with literally be entering slavery. Okay, KM88 approaches and says, what do you want? I want you to pose as Desirio. That's a name, that's an alias they can go under, okay? Why? So that none of us get hurt. How? Okay, and I go through the plan and basically tell him that if we create an image, then nobody else here gets hurt, and that, you know, it's, you know, it's just like, if we draw the attention away from us, then nobody gets hurt, nobody gets killed, dismantled, put back into slavery, pulled apart, killed, destroyed, whatever. So, explain the plan to me step by step. Okay. I want you to call... I'll, we'll call Clinton Jess, and I have a scrambler so that they can't trace our calls. Okay. And I want you to say to them, you guys, you know, you can come up with your own personality to it. Make make it intimidating. Make it dramatic, um, exotic, whenever you tell them that there's a new buyer in town. That, that, that there's a new, um, damn it, I just had the word. Um supplier in town and that they need to get out oh boy okay this is something else hey uh uh 
Isaac, can you have like, do you have any um, ideas to like make uh, KM here like intimidating? Like you know, put some some splash like some war paint on him or something. Well, I haven't I haven't painted him yet. Well, I know. I'm asking, can you? We'll take it right off. Don't worry. I don't know. Maybe maybe KM will want to keep it. I got some ideas in mind now. I need to... KM looks at you and says, I need you to think really long about this plan. Because you're putting me on the line. No, no, of course not. Nobody knows what droids look like. You guys literally pass through places unnoticed. You're putting my life on the line because you think that I can intimidate. Okay, a so Mandalorian clan. No, you're not there to intimidate them. You're there just to get them to question whether or not you are an actual thing. And here's the, here's the thing. What we can do, what I will do, is I will go around and spread the word that Cesario is the new big boy in town, okay? And you don't have to do anything. Absolutely nothing. All you have to do is literally just call them and tell them in a dramatic, exotic um, tone that there's a new supplier in town and that they need to get out. And this is being used to draw them out? Yeah, this is to get their attention away from us. So when we ask them questions, it's not so obvious. That's the part of this that makes the most sense. Okay, so if that's the part that makes the most sense, then why won't you do it? Because I need you to understand they're not just going to pull up roots and leave because I give them a phone. Oh, no, they, that's exactly the plan. They're going to come and find you, but the problem is that they will never find you because you don't... that. This fictional character does not exist. You see? He's just starting to have second thoughts about this plan. What is so hard about this? <laughs> it's like the more you it's repeat it, the less and less confident I feel about it. It's misdirection. You give somebody to look at something, they'll look at that while you go do the thing you want to do. Yeah, but it aren't... What's the doesn't thing KM, you want to do? Doesn't KM have like a very identifiable feature to him? He's a protocol droid, so he's, he's kind of. I actually know it's the thing. I, I was talk. I was talking about how his droid head looks like an Athorian. Yeah, they, they made hundreds of Athorian protocol droids. Yeah, hundreds, not thousands. It's. You, it's you know what I mean. Nobody, it's... Literally, nobody looks at droids in Star Wars. They, oh, a droid is a droid. That's it. They are second class citizens, and it sucks for them. Yeah. Nothing against droids. It's just that's what they are. So they can use that to their advantage. That's why I'm asking. Yeah, wait. They're second class citizens. Why would they listen to them? Are you. Wait. Are you trying to make him into a bomb still? No. I, I, think, I think the bomb was just supposed to be a lie. <laughs> And also a joke. Oh. So KMA is like, like, so the plan here is to I'll make I'll just do it the... myself. Move aside. I'll make myself look like a droid. Okay. So you got a scrambler and everything attached to your thing? Yeah. Did you guys get the contact information for Clan Just, just last yeah, time we've, here? We've had, we've, had, uh, we've had contacts with them before. Uh, You've had... Face to face contact. No, we talked to them through Hollow the Hollow Net because one of them came, because um, uh, Chapa's daughter came in by and asked and gave us their information and their information. Okay. So you're gonna call them up? Yeah, and I look like KM eighty eight. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Uh, and you, uh, finally, when it, the phone is answered, the hollow call is answered, uh, you see that there's an image of a purple Mandalorian, purple painted armor, and they answer very simply, I am Arnor Jest of Clan Jest. How may I help you? Listen here, you tin head rust bucket. Why well, should I? There's a new player in town. Me. I want you to stop producing your drugs. I want you to stop uh, supplying and selling everything. Roll a persuasion check with disadvantage. There's a long pause. <laughs> Persuasion? It's like, is this a joke? Is this a kid doing this? Like, what the fuck? Like, young man, do you have your parents near you? you want actually, to... this might be a deception check, actually. Uh, would, would the disguise give advantage, and then it would just be like... It would be a straight out. roll, but it's uh, still a 12. And he says, Clan just does not respond to threats. What is your name? To Sirio, and you'll be sorry, and I hang up. So how does the scrambler work? Um, it, you, uh, let me just check it right now. It's a VPN. <laughs> it can't trace is this, people is this, using hollow is, is this the pocket scrambler? Yeah. The pocket scrambler encodes messages. Oof. Oh, it, it encrypts them, makes them hidden. It, it makes it harder for them to intercept and decipher. Yeah, what a pocket scrambler does is makes it so that a message can only be read by a device with a matched scrambler. So canonically, what just happened here is this guy got a... If you want to, unless you want to retcon your actions, what just happened here is this guy got a phone call that was, he was like, is, is this a joke? And then nothing. He heard it in a weird language he doesn't understand. Like someone starts speaking, I don't know, Hatiz to him. He doesn't speak Hatiz. So do you want to retcon what you just did? Sure. Because, uh, unfortunately, uh, that's... I could have sworn that there was... I could have sworn that they must have updated that because it didn't say specifically that. It just said any transmitted message cannot be read. Or it basically acted like... They updated the... Set. They updated all the books, like, four weeks ago, I think. So, maybe. Probably. It's... Well, hey, it happens. Don't worry about it. But it does, however, mean you guys got to come up with something different here. I will go around and the street, and I'll just tell people that there's a new supplier. And can so, I have Izu go? Can I have Izu try something? Yes. You can also just use a hollow booth. Like uh, so we one. know where the clan leader roughly stays most of the time, right? Uh, yeah. Izu's going to say, I'll be back, and he's going to start going there. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna get five nat twenties again. You just you watch. <laughs> no, I'm not doing anything that crazy this time. So oh, she's in a two. different city. Is the thing. So this is gonna be like a. He's just gone for like two like a day if this happens. Okay. Do you guys stop him at all, or? I could get you there in 180 miles per hour. Okay. So, in a nearby city, there is the Clan Jest nightclub, if you recall. Uh, it is a nightclub, and you know that this is where the leader of Clan Jest spends her day. So, are you just going to uh, spend her evenings? So... Are you going to go there during the day or the evenings? Evening. 
So what's your plan here? Uh, He's just going to try and find the Mandalorian leader, walk up to her, and say, Hey, can you help us, uh, like, fuck up an Imperial Star Destroyer? So, we're going to get back to that in a second. Do all of you lit easily, I'm just going to say. Man, I want to let him go alone. So, I, I said I, I I said I could get him there 180 miles per hour. Oh, yeah, that's, that's with him. That's, she was the one taking that's, me. Okay, that's okay. with the sparrow. With the sparrow. Sparrow only seats two. Okay. Yeah. So right, well. Isaac is gonna be the your backup here. Sending both of the engineers. Okay. So we're going to. I have to set the mood. It is a slow night at the Just Nightclub. The lights are not banging as hard, the music is not pounding as loudly, it's quiet tonight. More than it should be, but it's still a night club, they're still dancing, there's still people getting inebriated, there's still a lot of noise. And you just approach Samora uh, Just, who's sitting in her booth, her... She has a corner booth here that she favors. She's allowed you guys to enter here before, and she, she'll do it again. She sees you, and she says, Hi, Izu. It's so Sammy. good to see you. Yes. Good to see you, too. So what do you want, Izu? Ooh, and he sits down. Uh, we want your help with something. We want your help to fuck up an Imperial Star Destroyer. Because reasons. Roll a persuasion check. I swear this actually is natural 20. Yes! <laughs> yes! It finally happened! I finally failed! It happened! She pulls out her gun and points it near your face and says, What do you know? Let's see, I know how to do this. Like, he starts listing off everything he knows in life. Like, okay. Oh, and you don't want to cook the soup too long, and... What do you know about the Star Destroyer? It looks like this, and he pulls up a picture of it. It's a lot of red. You realize I can't let you two live here now. You're going to go asking questions about one of my favorite customers. Because we know what we know. The color the starship is. Maybe three or four people on Corellia know about the Empire Eternals Star Destroyer. I know. You're one of them. Yes. And That's I am came going to, to kill you so that you can't tell no, anybody not. else. Yes, I am. I am. I'm the one who no, you're not. Gun. You're not. Give me one good reason them. I shouldn't kill you right now, Lisa. I can give you five. This is good. I, I want to hear. All right. One. He holds up his hand, like, up to her helmet. One. It's more profitable for you to keep us alive. Two. Your fingers are like baby can... carrots. He holds his hand back. You can't bite them. Okay. Two, I could blow up this whole place before you could kill me, and I can. He has pulled amazing things. I'm honestly not sure how. Three, I actually have a way to get that droid you want working. Four, I again, I could kill everyone here, and if I do get out of here alive, I would burn down everything you know and love. I, I, I easy is sometimes you scare me. And five, they are your most profitable client right now, but Not you know they're losing, profitable. so... Yes. You know that they're losing, and eventually they are going to lose. It's better to jump ship now, early, before they actually drop ship. That way you can start making the better market in another place. 
Roll a... I guess roll a persuasion check or roll an intimidation check for what? Roll a, and a persuasion check and an intimidation check. She's like, you I mean, I'll say for I'll say for the intimidation check, can I add my portent to that? You may. E. So that's, uh, I'm at level six now, so that's a D8. You know, you know what? Yeah. You know what? You know what, Izu? Uh, 18 and you. 18. All right, you know what? No, fuck you, Izu. Add a D4 to the first one. You're getting one of my portents. Does that oh, how it works? Damn it. Yeah, I, 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 I get to give him a... I get to give him a D4 because I'm one God level. They're both 18. Why do you have to screw up the I balance? I want the persuasion to be 22 because I my first ever character was named 22. Fuck you. This worked out. Fuck you. 18, 18 would have been nice. <laughs> eh. So hostile <laughs> while being helpful. <laughs> That's the eyes of the way. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm saving your life. No. <laughs> She looks at you and says, I don't want to kill you, Isu. But you're not going to kill me. don't want to kill me either. Right now, the Empire Eternal has just as good a chance as uh, anybody else of taking over this system from where I'm sitting. And I'm hedging my bets. I want to be on the good is side. Very... From your sitting is a Gortnak instead of a well. Out of character, a frog in a well. Metaphor. Fish Look, in a here. I can show you. Uh, do you mind? Kind of like bats her gun away. This okay, gel is you. a tempting fate. I'm tempting fate all the time. Okay, now move. He kind of scoots to sit right next to her and kind of pulls up his data pad. Look, now you'll show her the stuff about the Chiss Ascendancy as well as the Camino Initiative. See? This is going to be odd. I need you to roll a persuasion check that uses your... Basically roll an intelligence check to see how you easily you can convey what you are talking about. There. So intelligence check, but with proficiency, essentially. Yeah. All right, I'm going to roll intelligence save just so the numbers are there. Oh, god damn, why do I keep... Uh... Fuck it, I'll burn another portent. This is important. This is important. 30 20. Uh, I would help, but I don't think we can stack on the same skill check. You cannot, sadly. Damn. Plus, mine are bigger, so it's better I use mine. Yeah. Ouch. She takes a deep sigh and says, I am not afraid. Of a bunch of snow we uh, guys, ice planet weirdos, a bunch of cloners. No, but business. Look, numbers don't lie. They're doing better, and they are pushing the empire back. So, according to you, you want to hedge your bets. You're hedging them wrong. And what happens if the Chiss absorb the Empire Eternal instead of destroying it? Then I'll have, if I'm on their officer's good side, then I'll be on their officer's good side. He looks at her and just kind of like blinks. Do you really think that's going to happen? Well, here's the fact of the matter. I don't care which side the Chiss back or which side the Camino right. Initiative back. Because I have no matter what side they back, because no matter what side they back, both of them would kill you. So I have I have contacts in every faction in this system. I do not care which of them wins. I just need yes, to do. not make them angry. Why should then I care? Give case, me a reason to care. I gave you five, but you're not a very good listener. No, I just don't believe you. I think you do. It's just you don't want to admit it because you're too deep. Well, but no. If you want a very good reason, then here's this. You don't have to kill us because 
you turning us over to someone without them knowing that you're involved wouldn't hurt you. Meanwhile, trying to hurt us would hurt you. Two, eh, there's always good to get in early with a rising group than it is to stay buried in a dying one. And if you really had contacts in every faction, and if they were good contacts, you would know a lot of this already. Roll a persuasion check. I am rolling so many persuasion checks. Uh, you're, doing, you're doing all the talking. Isaac could say something if he wants. Isaac uh, is just being tough. I, I, I tried, but I got interrupted, <laughs> and I don't like talking over people. She looks at you and says, Izu. Demi. I'm, I'm being nice to you when I say this. You get the hell out of here before I pull this trigger. And if you threaten any of my clients ever again, I will send the boys after you, okay? Not a care. Does I just want to say anything before I... Uh, are we heading our... Are we on our way out now? I think we're going to, so that's why I'm asking if you want to get any last words in. Uh, one last note. From what I've seen, the Chiss win this war. Mandalore, Ganks, we won't exist anymore. So, choose your side wisely. Bye Roll bye. a persuasion check. Alright. <sighs> Sit down in my chair. Time to get my natural 20. Uh, 13. Mm. Or whatever. <laughs> I don't think I can give potence to myself. I'm not that cool. I can give you a potence, though, so one sec. Do you, do you um, really want to? Eh, it's fine. I can reget. I can gain these back on a short rest. On a short rest? Damn. Alright, so 16. 16. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Let me double check something, because these goggles are weird. Oh, yeah, you got the uh, fucking class item. I can... When giving it to someone else, it can also give you my intelligence modifier halved. So that would be another Sweet, plus three, so 19. Oh, yeah. 19. So what did you say? I, I basically said if the Chiss win the war, Mandalore and the Gank homeworld will cease to exist. So just pick your side wisely. What would you say the wisest side to pick would be right now? I'll leave that decision to you. I just say, Chiss, Chiss is probably the worst option. Initiative, any other faction, even just staying here on Corellia, it's your choice. She says, get, yeah, get out of here before I send the boys, uh, bring in the boys. Bye, Sammy. Bye. And you guys are uh, exit the nightclub. Anything else you guys want to do in this area? Let's buy all the drugs. <laughs> but I don't, I don't think we have anything else to do here. Okay, so back to the other group. What are you guys doing? While this is going down. I have a sinking feeling that this meeting they're having may not be going well. Perfect. Unfortunately. I bet it's going well. I'm going to be optimistic. You're always optimistic, Senfil. He's, he's the most well functioning adult among the group. <laughs> 
CC speaks up and says, I don't want to like play into stereotypes or anything, but if things go how I think it's going to go based on how I know all of you so far, uh, that lady's likely biting his head off right now. Like, but she shouldn't have let him go. You see... I suppose you could say the Force moves in mysterious ways. Whenever you give Izu an initiative, something happens. Maybe it's the right choice, maybe it's the wrong choice. But what it is, is it is a direct path. You should take away Izu's rights. He has too much freedom. Go, go <laughs> away. So go, go away, <laughs> evil devil on my shoulder. Go away. We, we, need, we need to hack in into Izu's YouTube account and specifically block the do advertisement not that says the... <laughs> Do not introduce Izu to YouTube. <laughs> we need we need to make it sure that he never sees the ad that goes, Did you know you have rights? Constitution says you do. I've never seen that ad. I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> it only shows up for people with rights. Oh. It doesn't oh, no. show up in Rodia. <laughs> yeah, Rodia. So... Yeah, Rodia. <laughs> Here's the thing. You guys are, seem to be at a little bit of an impasse. So we need, I need, as the Dungeon Master, need to come up with something to shake this up. We could always just like... Out, out of character, that was what my attempt to negotiate was, just to shake things up. This is we, could, we could always just like fucking call up Chopa and like, hey, yo, they got a Stars Destroyer, we know where it is, you want to fuck it up? Maybe and he's they. probably like, yeah, I got like fucking five large ships in my garage, I'll go get some boys and we'll head up there. So for, I, I'm gonna need uh, like just a hot second here for my brain to realign. This is the most stuck I've been in this campaign. And my room is overheating because my AC is not working too great. Uh, oh, that's I would die without my AC. So, what is... Uh, I don't have AC. During, while Izu is trying to negotiate, what is Jin doing, now that you are back? Oh, um, how long was uh, Isaac and Izu gone? Let's say about... Let's say about Probably. two hours. Yeah, with, with the speed that we were going. Breaking sound barriers over Corellia. Yeah, they went into hyperspace and accidentally destroyed the city. <laughs> happened. This mass hysteria across the planet. Then again, there already was. All right. Um, I'm gonna go down to engineering. Uh, I'm gonna place two um hollow recorders in the spots that I know that um Izu likes to hang around the most at. Finally getting a chance to fucking plant bugs. So you're gonna have to roll a sleight of hand for these. The high this campaign has gotten so intense just listening to Jin betray us and knowing that Semphil oh, doesn't wow. even yeah. know. Look, he just put like... one on a table. <laughs> put a coffee cup over. A napkin. I need you to tell me how you fail at, at, at placing the first one. Uh, the first one, I basically, I, I placed in a spot, I'm like, yeah, that looked great. I'm like, wait a minute. Yeah, no, never mind. It's literally just hanging up on the wall. I, I try to, like, blend it in to make it look like part of the, uh... So for the natural one, you're gonna know that one's gonna fail. It's like, okay. nope. But I do say okay. that you're able to reasonably hide the other one. Okay, you know, I was like, can I try to put, can I try to play... Is it again? I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say you don't have enough time for that. Because you right. spent a long time trying take... to... Sorry? Yeah. I'll just take that one down, then I'm like, okay, yeah, fuck that. That is bad. It's bad. So you placed one decently. Yeah. So, uh... This raises the question, though, um... <laughs> is is, is uh, Izu gonna have to make a perception check every time he goes down to engineering? <laughs> You know what I'm going to have happen? Uh, Semfel and Vecquin. Yeah. You two are... Uh, Just talk. 
you two are talking about the plane. You guys are talking about this happening. You hear. It's a. Like. This is typically uh, the uh, slightly different sound you get when somebody's outside the ship trying to help. Oh, somebody's outside the ship trying to, yeah, like, Yeah, somebody's outside us? the ship. It's like your go doorbell. Go door, go answer. Uh, let's go. Yeah, let's go see who's there, Vecklin. I'll just, uh, I'll go up to the door and open the door. I'll stand out front. So you open like the door, and you see a familiar red, uh, red-armored figure who approaches you, Central. He says, ha, ha! Senfil. Chopa, is that you? Yeah. Yes, it's me. How oh, it's you? so good to see you. I've been good. How are you? You look even better than your hollow your hologram. I figured since you were in town, I'd drop by and see how you were doing. The war's been going fantastically against the Empire Eternal. I've killed many, many a storm troop. They make them a little bit... These Exegol boys are a little tougher than your average run-of-the-mill stormtrooper. Well, do you want to come in for a drink? Why not? He comes in. Oh. So he's like, this, uh, I don't think he's ever been on your ship before, has he? I don't think uh, so. I'm pretty sure as soon as we got the ship, we just left Corellia. <laughs> Yeah. No, wait, we left Corellia to get the ship, and then we came back and fixed it, and then left oh, again. Oh, right. We took the escape pod. The jerry-rigged escape pod. Oh. That... The last time we were yeah. here with the Eagle was just to get it fixed completely. And, and then we left. And we left. Show for that whole time, I believe. Uh, yeah. Because, okay. I mean, if, if you want me to give you the real reason, I mean, I will, I'll, I'll, I will be, I'll be real with you, DM. Because we kind of did a thing that made Chopa look bad, and it was sort of this weird thing. We kind of like drugged him with the, with the lightsaber whole ordeal and stuff. Just being transparent. And the drugs. So he uh, enters so the ship. He's like looking Chopa around your ship. Uh, he, he's looking as you guys look at him. He uh, takes off his helmet. He's looking around the ship. He's like a little cramped, old Corellian hammerhead Corvette. They don't make these like they used to. The damn things are all used cheap or these days. They don't make them at all anymore. Well, they make a few. Probably not one this old. Oh, this is definitely one of the better ones. Probably the last one off the assembly line before everything went to hell and the New Republic collapsed. We're talking about it like it's just like a Corvette car. <laughs> it's like the same thing people say about Corvettes. Well, it is a hammerhead Corvette, so... Exactly, that's why I find it so funny. So, Sample, what, what are you doing back on Corellia? Uh, like, what do you got to oh. drink around here? Oh, we have Twinkies. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> what do you have to drink? We got Twinkies. <laughs> <laughs> Twinkies and a tall glass of splash. That's water. Please tell me you got a something. A giant egg that eats you. <laughs> You're gonna improvise something here. Uh, we have nice Rodian whiskey, <laughs> which Sorry. tastes really good to Rodians. <laughs> oh no, I'll try. Oh no, that stuff will pro as likely as likely to kill me as it is to taste good. So give me, let me at it. I, I didn't know you were you were a little racist. That's okay. We'll get you something. Doesn't that make okay. me racist yep. to drink? Everyone's a little racist. It's not racist <laughs> to know that drinking uh, is something from a species that is not related to my own could potentially result in anaphylactic shock. That's awareness. Do you think he'd get anaphylactic shock, Vecklin? Nah. I mean, perhaps. I'm All going right. to see you if I can anaphylactic. Now this is a challenge. I want to see if I can anaphylactic shot. People know that the Rodian liquor is the best. So he's in there drinking. He said, and he's just telling you all of his stories on the warfront. He said, first off, when those bastards came in, they snuck into the city and they destroyed my ship. 
It's typical Sith bullshit. All targeting Mandalorians unfairly. Because we betrayed them in that old war. And so I go now I go out there and I've been wrecking house. Annihilating them, destroying their outposts, but the damn things just keep coming. They keep coming, and I just keep fighting. But it's like the old days. It's like the old days back when we, when the Empire and the Republic were fighting. It's amazing out there. It's like it's good I'll to be at curious. war and not being a petty crime lord anymore. Yeah, it seems like you're doing well. You're happy. I like to see it. Why wouldn't I be happy? Uh, yeah, exactly. I, I stopped for a second. He was like, why wouldn't I be happy? Thinks about how half of the galaxy is an apocalypse. <laughs> Thinks about how he's in the middle of a war, even if he is enjoying it. At any rate, what are you guys doing back on Krill? Well, to, if, we're, if I'm being totally honest, there's a burger joint just around the corner, and it makes burgers better than any you've ever had. I and we, we had some spare time, so we just came around just for that. He's like, the not the best, maybe the best you've ever had. I know that guy. He's not the best. Who, who's the best? Oh, I know a Gamorrean chef in the corporate sector that will blow that guy out of the water. Really? Oh, yeah. Where's the corporate sector? Just north of the uh, Kingdom of Dion. I mean, do you want to go? Oh. Well, you asking me on a date, Sam Phil? <laughs> I'm it's not. It's not, not a date if Vecklin. It's not a date if Vecklin third wheels. I don't know if that's how that works, but okay. <laughs> I'm asking on a tried date. <laughs> oh. He's asking oh. for a polyamorous relationship. Please, yeah. I am Let's go not. get some burgers. <laughs> this is not how I thought this was going to go. I am you're, not. You're not, you're not. You're not my type, Simphil. I'm sorry. Not. This is not the thing. I'm nobody's type. I I am not. Yeah, that is not anything that I am interested in, Simphil. At any rate. Yeah, yeah. No, it's it's, it's okay. Them fell in your mind. You hear, uh, do you want to? Emotional damage. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm going to lose my mind crying tonight. <laughs> in, in your in your head, some fell. You hear, you think maybe Chopa has, has a problem, would have a problem with Jess in particular. Uh, yeah, I absolutely think he would. I mean, that would be an interesting distraction, too. And maybe a way for us to get into the, uh, get inside their, you know, their stronghold. Anyways, I'm not going to sit here, because every time I'm saying sentences, six seconds go by, and we're just staring at it. <laughs> <laughs> wait, uh, oh, wait, are we, sorry, I... I think I just missed it. Is there a Star Destroyer in, like, in orbit keeping us from leaving? No. Uh, we just know where it is. Yeah, basically yeah. the what the... My contact imp- told me where yeah. the Star Destroyer was. And so, we, could, we could just straight up tell Chopa we know where the Star Destroyer is. I was gonna say, why don't we just give him or, or you know, quote-unquote trade information and let him know where the Star Destroyer is. And, uh, you know what? I'll be right back. I'll, I'll go get I'll go get some more uh, some more whiskey, and uh, I'm gonna kind of get up and I'm gonna go find Jin and come back with more whiskey. Cause apparently, we have whiskey. <laughs> it's just blue milk and water. Okay. And alcohol. Yum, curly. Good the truest of drinks. It's more like it's more like Rodian moonshine. <laughs> <sighs> The stuff where you fart, you just blow out like a five-foot flame, yeah. Yeah, you actually get shit-faced <laughs> off of one drink, and uh, Chope is going on to his second. It's, it's, uh, it's a as am I. We're talking, we're talking cups or shots? <laughs> <laughs> Pints. 
A mega punk? Got it. <laughs> a pitcher. <laughs> oh, God. All right. All right, Tropa, let's, let's get down to business. Do you have any information you could trade me? Because I, I have something that I think you might like to know about the Empire. What is I may or may not have the coordinates of an Imperial Star Destroyer here on Corellia. Somebody just sent me a message going to fight them. It was Chopa. Yeah, it was Chopa. It totally wasn't me, the guy who made the Star Destroyer. And it's just stewing here, knowing exactly what that thing can do. So, uh... <laughs> What do you tell him in regards to the Star Destroyer? Because it's not on well, Corellia, I'm... it's in the Corellia system. Oh, pardon me. First, I'm going to see if there's any information he would be willing to trade me for it. He looks at you and says, what do you know about the Star Destroyer? Uh, what what do I know about the Star Destroyer? Do like, I know its exact coordinates, or do I just you know, know it's You know the routes it's taking to deliver stormtroopers from it has a route that it takes between Exegol and uh, Talus. Or, sorry, my bad, Tralus. Uh, it, heads be it goes between Tal uh, Talus, Tralus, and uh, Exegol, delivering stormtroopers to reinforce, uh, the, reinforce the Empire turn. And this is where it gets 90% of their troopers and officers are recruitments from Exegol. So they're just bringing people in to from uh, out of system, and there's the whole operation here. Uh, the whole terrorist operation here relies on the Star Destroyer making regular deliveries, which is the waypoint. So you know their basic delivery coordinates, their waypoints, and you know the basic specs of the Star Destroyer, and you also know. Uh, what's your call? What am I trying to say? Uh, you know that it has a cloaking device, so that's everything you know. So I'll tell him that I know of a Star Destroyer that ships stormtroopers, and I know the route it takes, and I know about the Star Destroyer, but that's all wait, I'll say about wait, it. Wait, so we, we know about the cloaking device? Yeah, I believe so. Did I mention? <laughs> you, did, you did not, because I remember when you had tell had me make it, you specifically direct messages at me about the cloaking device. What cloaking device? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't think you mentioned a cloaking device. Well, I'm gonna say, uh, you don't know... I feel like the chips would know about the fucking cloaking devices. I mean, here, I'll just roll a luck check if it's... You know what? I'll, yeah, well, let's just roll a luck check. You know he told you about the cloaking device. <laughs> All right. All right. So yeah, that, that's that. That's what I've mostly been thinking about. Like, yeah, we're just gonna take one of the ships and go up there. It's like, where? You can't uh, see it. <laughs> so I'll so, tell them this is no regular Star Destroyer, but I can't tell you how unless you know there's something to, to you know how business is. Okay, so I heard about every other syllable of every word you just spoke. Really? Yes. Basically, yeah. it's not. Uh oh. He said that it's everybody, it's happening to everybody. Everybody, oh no. Uh, I think Discord is going Yeah. Oh no, Discord's about to crash. Hello? That was insane. Hello? 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 Can we defeat Kaj yet? Uh, so, Chopa looks at you and says, Tell me about the Star Destroyer right now, or I'll fucking rip your neck throat out. God, is that you? Well, it's me, Margaret. Not, not so hasty. I mean, this is no ordinary Star Destroyer, but you know as well as anybody that I can't tell you about it without getting, you know, something in return. That's just how business is. What do you want? I mean, what do you have? I would trade for information or money or something else. Money, not money. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 
<laughs> Luke, would you mind if I just said something really quick to Jim? Small, just just a little yeah. bit to keep it moving. Of course, you can get over to Jim and uh, and uh, I just I just walk I just find Jim, probably in the middle of of doing his shenanigans, and then he like high holds it behind his back, and I totally don't notice anything. Um, oh, I just I just go, Jim. You know how you wanted to find someone that would draw the attention off of, of us? Yeah. He's drinking. He's drink. He's drinking whiskey with this simple right now. You should come with me. Really? Yeah, his name is Chopa. He's here. Oh, the guy that, you know... Okay. Yeah, keep that to yourself. Got it. <laughs> I you're going to mention it, and you're going to fail the deception check with a nat one. You know that, right? That's why we're I don't know what you're talking about. about. Wait, mention, <laughs> mention what? Yeah, so I, I actually don't know. <laughs> <laughs> ah, we won. <laughs> we just we like did I, it. Just like I taught you. <laughs> so, I got just so like confused so fast. <laughs> All right, you guys have oh. Jedi mind tricks. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, and also, Jen, grab that bottle of whiskey that magically appeared over there. What? <laughs> just grab Damn. it. You gotta give it to Joe. This this session is weird and chaotic, <laughs> my dudes. <laughs> this is weird. Okay. So. And as as he's doing, I'm just gonna bring Jin up to the to the conversation. And I gave Jin his little. Here you go. There's there's your distraction. Or friend. Chopa, Chopa, you know you know Jin Savo, right? Yeah, I know. Self proclaimed best pilot in the galaxy. <laughs> oh, I saw his. Sex, you know I it. saw his race. I believe it. That should have liquefied your bones. Yeah, it should have. Why do you still have bones? Because I'm just that damn good. <laughs> oh my god. He's built different. <laughs> well, as far as I can see, he's mostly cart cartilage. He's like a shark. <laughs> 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 All right, so. Sharks are known for their high velocity resistance. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, Chopa, you know about. Um, Simphil's told you about our Star Destroyer problem, right? Yeah. Problem? No, it's not a problem. Oh, no, of course not a problem. That was a poor choice of words. Uh, I mean, we know it's a problem for you. Exactly. It holds now. The, yeah, Hence why we're here, willing to trade you info. You know, if, if we weren't good friends with you, we would have just let that Star Destroyer be. The silence is making me worried we blew it. So, Chopa, we know that... We know that you're in... Um, in kind of a rivalry with... Um, Jess, right? What do you all want from me? Um, Jest knows somebody on that Star Destroyer. Very important person. And if we were able to get there, you were, then you will be able to get there. We help you. You kill two birds with one stone. You take out a very heavy supplier of money for Jest. And you take out the Empire. Sounds like a win-win to me. I'm going to need both a deception check and a persuasion check. Just from Jin? Yep. Do I get advantage because um, <laughs> Simphil and Vecklin are helping me out? You got advantage on these, yeah, I'd say. On, on these what? You, on these rolls, you have advantage on them. Oh, okay. Oh! Of course he nat 20 is the deception. Oh, damn close. Oh my god. See, the problem there was he wasn't lying. Big smooth talker. So, so he gets up and he that... says, if you, are got, if you are all going after the Empire Eternal, I'll help all of you in any damn way, what, what damn well way you want. Those fuckers destroyed my ship. Well, if I may, if I may add one more thing to it, 
This Star Destroyer may contain a admiral that you may be interested in. I've heard talk of her, Admiral Millards. And that is why this thing isn't such a juicy prize. So what's this all have to do with Clan Jest? That's what the deception was for, um, Isaac. She is a very, she's a very um, important person. She supplies, uh, Jess supplies her with a lot of drugs, and she pays them a lot of money for these drugs. Which uh, Izu and Isaac were actually able to confirm that they are supplying them with the drugs. But we don't know that, so I, I just kind of blew that up my ass. <laughs> The deception part. <laughs> yeah, our, that's our, why our it was deception. Our conversations are kind of happening at the same time. Yeah. So, he gets really close to him. He puts his arm around you, Jin, and says, Jin, Yeah? We're going to go kill Clem Chess, you and I. How's that so? And then we're going to go just kill them. the... <laughs> Just, just you and me? I can't bring my buddies with me? No, no, we can... We'll figure something. Uh, we can, you know, we, we'll make a party out of it. Here's the best part. If we, you know, if we forget where they're supplying this, then they lose a lot of money, which means that you don't really have to fight them. They'll just break bankrupt themselves to, to begin with. Or I can just kill them all right now. I'll do it, too. Oh, he's so creepy. I, I. Of we're the good guys. I of course whisper to this Red guy's Clem. technically the better guy too. That's the fucked up part. I I'll call Mandalore right to, now and tell them Clem. they're making a deal with the Empire, and he'll have a thousand, thousand Mandalorians here. That'll help. I, I, I whispered. I whispered to Vecklin, "Fuck yeah, man, we got it. We're in." <laughs> Now I have to roll hit. I'm gonna have to roll his persuasion check. That was the thing. I'll I'll just say I'll just say back to Jen. Uh, I suppose with the Mandalorians, everything looks like a nail because they're a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, there was deception, or we just we just say, yeah, they're working with the Empire. We murder them now. <laughs> Kill them all. There you go. We got our he just going. gotta go straight into. It. I I like to think at this exact at this exact <laughs> moment when you guys when you, at this exact moment when you guys are deciding this, Isaac is saying, "Hey, think carefully about who you side with." Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, two hours later, a bunch of Mandalorians. Is uh, we get just back to the ship, the and ship. there's a small militia. Uh, there's one problem, though. If you get, uh, as he's leaving the ship, there's one problem. If uh, You might lose your out if he just goes up over there and blows up Clan Jest. The way of getting into the enemy ship... Uh, so you guys might have to intercede or... I'm just saying, be careful with well, your choice here. Well, well, what we could do, what we could do is that because they are attacking... There's a lot of men... If they, he literally contacts the Mandalorians and they get in a big fight... We could also use that time to try to, you know, figure out what's going on. I'm sure they have records in there. Or we could just use it as a distraction and then use our... As this is happening and people are distracted, this is how we just slip in and go try to find the ship. Because there's no one going to come and stop us now. Up to you guys. You want to be? You want to? You want to just kick down the door? Or do we want to try to use a little bit more centrifuge? That's all. Well... Either way, we know where the ship is... Well, just putting everything together, we know that that um that Clan Jest does supply it and deliver it them to them themselves. So that is information that I would assume that they keep records or documents of because that would just be ridiculous if you don't, if you're that big of an organization and do that. We could also they, prob just... Go they probably won't have and big red letters we have a deal with the empire though at the same time i mean but here's the thing though we could use this to our advantage but we have to we have to instruct the mandalorians not to be super mandalorian and what i mean by that is if we just raid their casino 
Yeah, there's no just, honor. Yeah, we can and and just yeah. and just kill these people. We can now just contact the empire. We can set up a deal ourselves, and they can they'll they'll come because we'll look like them. Yeah. We just go to the we just go to we just go to Club Jest, whatever heck it's called. Club Jest. And, and I'm no so certain it had a name. I just can't remember the name. We go to we go to Club Jest. We we FBI open up in there and just clean house quickly, efficiently. No one reaches an alarm. We could try to like infiltrate at the same time, really plan tactically, and then. If we can very easily cut communications from the from the thing, I think I know a Jawa that can do that. And, and he's within phone call distance. This, this is true. <laughs> That's the thing. If we if we if we all get together, we can take it out and then use the club as a way to contact the Empire, without them even knowing Clan just got wiped off the map <laughs> that fast. We have to do it right. Jock and all. Let's go. Wait, are you saying use Chopa's squad to take out the other Same. squad? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, Ch uh, Chopa's getting the Mandalorians to come together to destroy Clan Jess because of them making a deal with the Empire. But we need them to be uh, strategical in it, so we're like we get the advantage, and so we get what we want, and they get what we want. they we have to get what we want first while they go and murder and kill everyone. I mean, first I'd say let's take let let's take this this club so we can use as a base of operations, and have the Mandalorians not just blast it from orbit because then everyone will know. <laughs> yeah. Um, we yeah. just go in there, we take them out, and then we could, and then we could we could set up we could you know set up the uh, the call we could we can meet with them, and as we're infiltrating the infiltrating the Star Destroyer, Tropa's men show up with the Mandalorians and attack the Star Destroyer. Causing mass chaos and allowing us to slip inside, kill the admiral, and take the star destroyer as our own because Isa told us it's got stats and we're going to use it. <laughs> I don't. I don't want it. I don't want it. We already have enough. enough the ships fuel cost for destroyer. this ship would be so insane. I'm just going to say. Let, let me, let me go, let me go Izu, Izu will pull a Tony Stark and create a fully recyclable engine that <laughs> just. Arc Reactor. Exactly. Yeah. You'd I be invent, shoveling like, arc reactors into this thing like a like an old timey. It snap. literally creates its own energy. It would be impossible to run out. We'll just, we'll, why... just we'll just use it to hyperspace ram the Camino Initiative or something. It'll be fine. Oh, okay, you just ram Camino and you destroy the whole galaxy. <laughs> you can blow up whatever you want. Jesus. Anyway, no, but no. All all jokes aside, I think if we take out the club. We can use that to contact the Empire and make it look like we're Clan Jess, so we can... Roll an can, insight. Well, I'm going to ask you to roll an insight with advantage. Alright. I think I'm there advantage. There ain't no fucking way that the Empire is going to be able... The Empire Eternal is going to be able to tell the difference between one Mandalorian clan and another. There's... Perfect. It's, this is... Uh, there's a reason I gave you advantage. This is like a stupidly low Point. check. You would have failed it though, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, I rolled a natural one and got a ten. That's pretty. So this good. is where we're landing. This is going to be a nightclub raid. So the last thing, uh, the one thing that we're going to have to determine, then the one thing we're going to have to determine, if you guys go through with this plan, I'm going to say that uh, Chopa leaves, and uh, soon after, Izu and Isaac get back. So you guys can talk about your plan amongst yourselves, because I have to do some. I have to go into my mind palace here for a moment. All right. Isis, uh, Isis, so. and Izu would hop out the whip. The whip. Yeah. yeah. So I think we've made enemies of Jest. They let us walk away, but found out that they deal drugs to the Empire. So. Veklin awkwardly like looks at Jin because he's trying to imitate what it looks like to look at somebody. Oh god. It's like Batman in the uh, Tim Burton yeah. Batman movie where his whole it's just, it's just top like a of his body just lifeless moves. droids it's just like yeah, like lifeless doll just slowly turns their head towards me. It's like, nah man, don't do that. Sorry, sorry man. I was just trying to make you feel more comfortable. Anyway, yeah, more I comfortable mean, by staring at you. Uh, the, I see I see other people do it, I'm sorry. Um ah! oh. yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> 
that's that's we're doing eye contact. You kind of can't do it. Uh, Just moves his whole torso. I think you're being racist. If I think that's very <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is the racist. Not, I need to. I, I need to pull. I need to minimize my Discord. It's too horrible to look. <laughs> I'm not I'm not being racist because Vecklin literally had the choice to get eyes and he said no. This is very true. I mean, <laughs> all right. Well, anyways, anyways, Isaac, I think that'll work out perfectly fine. We kind of just told Chopa that Jess is working with the Empire and Chopa's going to call all of the Mandalorians that he can and we're just going to raid wherever the heck they are. And then after we kill everyone in there, we'll use the, uh, we'll use their base to contact the Empire so we can make, set up a deal with them. Or at least we'll know exactly where to find them. I'm not, I'm not saying centrifuge is our best our best deal, but I know walking and kicking the door down is our best deal. We've done it many of times. Uh, Vecklin? Yeah. I think you mean subterfuge. Uh, centrifuge, uh, is like, centrifuge is like a wind tunnel. You know what he means. What? Oh, I suppose I wouldn't really understand that. I don't really see the difference. Oh, oh my oh, god! Uh, Everyone I was going to say something about about basic being your second language, and that's why you got it wrong. But now nah, you just come out with a pun. I'm, I'm gonna, so happy that this hasn't gotten old. I'm gonna <laughs> die. Really is old. the thing. I'm gonna, it's gonna it's kill really, me one day. It's, the dad joke is strong. <laughs> I have no idea if this is the right scale for this grid, but I'm gonna for this map. So, so I have a nightclub, but I can't find it. I'm trying to send it to you. It's so perfect for this. I have. So I'm we're gonna do up like a, a nightclub. Oh, maybe. So we're gonna do a nightclub raid. that's what it is. They're like. Club. Do, 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 do. Is there is there a limit on how many explosives we can we can use? Because I, I recently got these. Really neat detonators. I'd love to give them a try. Well, we don't want to obviously broadcast to the entire planet that Clan Jessica got wiped out. So we can't. Wait, we're taking out the entire thing? We're Pretty taking much. over the club. The club, specifically. <laughs> and if that's where they all are, we're doing it. Yeah, I, know. I can I can hack their communications and find exactly. out where they all are. I would just like so to then... ask you uh, that if you could like cut communications right when this raid starts. So oh yeah, like, what? I can hack in and then since Wait, I don't have job. a rain, you know what? Okay, DM, I'm going to ask that this combo is possible. DM. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so there is no actual range on my blow up their head calm ability so if i hacked did a frequency scan hacked into communications and then just did that on their entire communications line would that work hmm i don't like, see why I not it's just a small building no 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 their entire communications line uh, define this. He wants to, to blow up their entire network. <laughs> yeah. Are you talking about destroying off, the internet? Cut off. He wants no, 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 to cut no, no, off not all their communications. All their communications at once. So, like, if their communication in the small building is connected to a ship, to a trooper out in the field, to anything, boom. You know what? I'm going to say roll. You're going to have to roll some. You're going to have to roll some tool or tech checks to accomplish that. But it's possible. You know. All right. How. And Don't I you always get advantage with, with uh, tech rolls or something. Uh, I get advantage with mechanic tech rolls. With other tech rolls, it varies. I'll I'll help you over the com link thing. You know, because it's like a hollow com thing. Right. If anyone That's ever needs a cybernetic arm. I got you. <laughs> you can nah. use that to hack into stuff. Hey, I t so, if yeah. if if we get another Zerker multi tool, you could. <laughs> that oh, movie God. was terrifying to watch for me. I'm sorry. I was like, oh my God. What <laughs> movie? Bird Box. Oh. Jesus. 
Well, that's 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 my life every day. It's fine. So I need to. This is the moment of truth, guys. Pray. If you uh, if you do that, uh, I don't know, but uh, Chopa's got to roll a persuasion check. For May the, the force be with you, Chopa. He's Guidance. Got to, he can't Guidance. do this. He's in his house. <laughs> I don't even have it, so I don't. <laughs> Look, Chopa, roll true. Chopa, 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 Chopa. Uh, it's a goal. Oh, it's is a good... he human? It's a good... Okay. Is he human? Does he get the human trait? <laughs> Does he get a D4? <laughs> is Chopa human? Does he get yeah, a... he is oh, human. I'm going to say he's got a 12 in charisma. Does he say? Does he have advantage because his background is Mandalorian? <laughs> <laughs> is there a Mandalorian oh, oh. background? Yeah, yeah, there is. Oh, yeah. Yes, there is. I, there I will, is. I will real quick check what it does for you. I believe you, know, it, you can like you can talk to other Mandalorians. And get it's get like, uh, yeah, yeah. Other Mandalorians will look out for you as long as you're not part of feuding clans. Okay, so <laughs> it doesn't really help here. <coughs> <coughs> and um, Boba Fett says this, and Trump says. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so I'm gonna have Chopper roll. Okay, there you go, so that's Chopa. an 18, and uh. Oh, not. Oh, oh, Chopper, 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 come on, come on. You scared me, Chopper. <laughs> I saw one. <laughs> Chopper jump scare. Okay. So that went down uh, without any of you seeing it. That was a fun thing to role play in my head against myself and make me feel like I'm going crazy. Me and the boys talking to ourselves. So, uh. <sighs> okay. Now I'm getting, a, I'm getting interrupted by everything. So this leaves it up to you guys. What do you do next? I guess we should coordinate with Chopa and everything. And so the next day, pick, pick, pick a night and everything. The next day, Chopa returns to your guys' ship. I answer it. Ziphal, come here. I'll, I'll go on my way as well. So, uh, do you let him onto the ship? Uh, the, the most, the scariest question ever. That's, yeah, that's serious. <laughs> no way you asked that. I like how the I'll doo -doo 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 is the exact same as the doo 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 doo. <laughs> you let him onto the ship, and he looks kind of pissed off. What's wrong? It didn't go well. Uh oh. What happened? He's sending a small number, a small contingent to aid me. He's agreed. That's perfect. It's only about fifteen Mandalorians. I have about That's fifty perfect. in my clan. Mm. That's perfect, and well, I'm going to tell you why. Because to do real damage, what we need to do is first. Figure out where this um, deal for the drugs is going on, because then we can do some actual damage, like destroy empire, you know, damage, and just completely wipe clan just off the face of the earth, or at least have them ostracized. Are you we suggesting we call the cops on them? No. no. <laughs> I think it's more of we t we we take out Jess. You take over the, the club. You take over the club, and then we use it. We use the club to contact the uh, the Empire, so we know exactly where they are. And maybe they'll even send a transport to pick up the drugs, and then we could load. We kill those guys. Load load up that transport with Mandalorians and us, and go just crazy on. What what did I miss? 
He didn't get as much help as he wanted from Mandalore, but he was getting some. He says, this we has to 15 go... 15 commandos. 15, oh, not enough. 15 Mando commandos. <laughs> he looks at you all and says, this isn't a game. I don't have very many Mandalorians in my clan. Your clan just is much larger. Mandalore agreed to cut ties with them. Because they're dealing with the with an imperial remnant. We have a man. We have a man on the inside who can cut the comms, uh, all communications, overload all of them at once, so that they I'm... have no command structure whatsoever. We just shock and awe them. If we really do doubt numbers, I could probably get more numbers, but I don't know if I want to use that yet. Nah, we're good. We don't oh. need me to use the Mandalorian background. <laughs> <laughs> I have all of them, but I want to save that contact because we deal with Mandalorians a lot. Well, I mean, there's only two. There's only real uh, two real big players on this planet, right? The Jim. Guest and um, Chapa's group. Yeah, but the Mandalorian friend doesn't have to be on this planet. Okay, well, I mean, I bet, well, then maybe we'll just save it. Let's then. just go. Let's just go with the commandos, and we'll just check out the base, and we'll be able to see kind of what we're doing. Maybe even maybe Izu can like hack into cameras or something. He can look at things. He can see people. Maybe, maybe we can like do this like runner. a you're pay good, you're good. Stop, can, stop. <laughs> we can do this like a payday stealth heist and yeah. restart every time somebody gets detected. <laughs> yep. <Yeah, pretty much. laughs> Minus the restarting or going to roll. I don't care if that drill breaks. <laughs> you know. That's why you always have one guy with a fucking big ass gun. Never play payday. Uh, right. There, there are two. There are two communities in payday. Those who play the game and the others who will literally kick you if you have more than five of detectability. I have no yeah, idea what the go, hell you're talking about. Let's go and figure out how we want to do this. Let's go and scout the area. Joe, is I don't know if I can do that just yet. I need to. No, 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 no. We'll scout it and then we'll, you know, we'll, we'll give you the information. We get to do the boring stuff. You get to do the fun part. Shoot. So, how do you guys plan on scouting this place? Well, I do have a holo recorder on me, so. <laughs> I do One. have a droid that can turn invisible and I can see through his eyes and ears. We do oh, have man. essentially pass without a trace. Hey, um... Yeah, that too. Phil, I have this holo recorder. Um... Oh, wh why do you have that? You know, in case we need to... S for exactly things like this. So, okay. Do you think Steve can, like, you know, implement this into herself? You can just if hold she... it. Just get a, hot, yeah. uh, get a hot glue gun and just, like, glue it to the top of her. Yeah, I just want to know if she'll be able to actually equip it or hold on to it, whatever. I mean, she has arms, and I, okay. they, they work. She okay. can definitely use it. Would the invisibility work with it? Like, it wouldn't just be like, oh, there's a floating hollow cam. Well, she's carry she would be carrying it, so it counts as a carry object. I think she's it takes an action. It takes an action to turn it on. And I think the action. No, I think it, she can use it. I think it, even. It's, it's, not, it's, it's not a spell or an attack, so yeah. an action you can make is it keeps infiltrate going. yeah totally all right so so uh, here's some film i'm gonna give the holo recorded to you it's it's empty no information on it just you know and have harve like just have her go around and i don't know direct her to places where we you know there might be something that we need i don't know yeah <laughs> i'm gonna do exactly that there was so many you knows in there to and you know, with, I don't you know, know. I don't know. <laughs> so, are you guys going to all, as a group, head to the city that the clan Jest is based out of? Yeah. Why the hell not? And sure. while while I'm in there, I'll place ion mines around the place too. <laughs> I was actually gonna ask if I could have you help me with something. Yeah. I'll give you, Specifically, I want to see if we can find that vast war droid they have locked up. Oh, oh 
Yeah, we know where, buddy. <laughs> we, we know we know where it is. Yep. The problem is, if it gets out, we can't do much. Uh, no. If it gets out, we have its owner right here with us. True. Then he has it. Yep. I'm a little worried about him having it, but that sounds so cool that I don't care. Oh my god. Could you, could you stop with the soundboard? <laughs> We're gonna yeah. find whoever taught him how to make the soundboard. Sound, gonna, it's, so, it's so easy. You get an MP3, that's it. I'm gonna find the inventor of the soundboard and put corn in their food. Yeah. And good luck, I'm pretty sure he has a thousand, a millions of dollars in royalties. At any rate, that's not gonna, that's not gonna what stop was me the city that I said movie. that yeah, the... Well, you'll go straight to so are you just gonna go. take Chopo with you? No, uh, he said that he doesn't. That he had to go do something, right? Yeah. I he said he'd like rather that. wait until the rest of the Mandalorians to arrive. Yeah, well, we'll just yeah. go and do it then. Yeah, we'll we'll just we'll we'll do the scouting and then we'll give him the short answer. We'll tell the Mandalorians where to shoot. That's why I said you get to do the, you get to do the fun part. You you get to go. Do, 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 do. Like in D and D, uh, they the operate. Other way around. Their, their nightclub is specifically called the Skids. The Skids. Oh my God! Dude, is that really what wow, I that called it? A, that's yeah. A, yep. That's I, a I, I, place. I, I seem to be the only person who opens the NPCs tabs to double check things. No, you're not. Because <laughs> I'm literally just looking at some more adjust, and it's like operates out of the Skids. A oh my God! Nightclub. Where they distribute narcotics. Oh my god. That's a name. And I believe the city might be Tyrana. Uh, so yes, you all head to Tyrana. Do you head there during the day or do you head there during the afternoon? Do we uh, want to own this place? It's called the Skids. No, no gonna Ch own Ch 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 Chopa's going to own it. He's going to take it. We have no use for this place. We're only going to be using it just to get onto the Star Destroyer. That's literally it. So, you guys arrive in the city of Tyrena, I believe that's what it's called. Uh, <clears throat> and what do you do once you are there? Who's going to go look for the Basilisk War Droid? Who's going to go scout? Izu and Jen. He's doing Jenna Gord for the, the Basilisk? Yep. That's the most chaotic group to go for the Basilisk. Exactly. This is, is you two, just you two. You guys good by yourselves? You so that leaves yeah. the adults to yeah. go look for, to go scout out the and skits. I guess the adults will hang out with Senfil. <laughs> adults and Senfil will go out. Oh, oh, Senfil. Out, of, uh, out of character, the honest idea behind that in character was that Izu was thinking, okay, I'm going to bring Jin with me because he's more likely to make noise than the rest of them are, so... You know, oh noisy people, go, noisy <laughs> people go deal with the chaotic op option. Um, I'm gonna give Simfel four ion mines and a remote. No, no, I, yeah, one remote detonator that are all linked together. Okay, I'm just gonna give that to Steve. No, 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 no. You you can like go and like you have a really good sleight of hand, so you could just like, you know. Shove things underneath tables or whatever. Yeah, but I think Steve's the only one actually going in to scout. Oh, I thought you guys were going in like inside the building. Steve, right? Steve, Steve can turn invisible, so they can go inside. We'll be outside. Oh, you guys are. Uh, oh, okay. Simple's got a sniper rifle. He's going to scout the place. <laughs> I also don't think I can see or hear anything while I'm seeing through Steve. Oh, that's a thing. Oh, that, that makes sense. <laughs> well, that's, that's okay. why Steve's got the hollow recorder. Okay. Oh, true. Who should I, I think I should handle the Basilisk War Druid first. I think that sounds fun. Oh. We picked the bad choice. Yeah, boy. <laughs> so, <laughs> the two of you head to the area with the warehouse where the Basilisk War Droid is. Last time you guys were here, everybody was being vague and obtuse and not telling you what was in there. And you guys nearly got killed by the darn thing. And you can see that it's still being patrolled by uh, uh, members of Clan Jest who are patrolling the perimeter of this warehouse. And you can see that since you guys were last here, it's been even more reinforced. It reinforced. 
Like this thing keeps mm -hmm. breaking holes in this warehouse. Okay, so Jin, yeah. we have three ways we can go about this. Okay. The first, you're a distraction, and I go get the droid. Oh. Okay. Yes. I second we... option. Okay. Oh. No, oh, the second okay. option is that we try and just sneak in normally. And we leave in a blaze of glory. And then the last option is that, that I hack into the communications, scramble them to make it look like they're being attacked by someone in another location, and we go in. Hmm. I'll be the distraction. Are you sure? Yeah, because I don't. I'm not very good at sneaking around. Unfortunately. Mm. Okay. Oh, I know who you are. That's why I brought you. Okay. So, what's Jin's plan for being a distraction? Just to be safe, I'm going to have Izu. Uh, Jin wears armor, right? Yeah. Jin. Easy is gonna kind of like quickly say, "Okay, one sec, and then pull you down, and like do a few things to your armor, get him to give you plus one to your armor." Oh, fantastic! Yep. Get nice. 15, get fifteen. Great. Eight. Just in case, you never know. You never know. Thanks. <laughs> nice spell. Not a spell. It is my. Yeah. Infuse item thing, so I can only do that to one item ever. So it's like it's a pass thing. It's like, okay, you get it. Okay, you don't need anymore. You get it. He's an artificer. E. Is it that <laughs> on a long rest? Uh, let me double check actually. That's important. Well, it has been a day uh -huh. since you guys, uh, what's it called? Right, I haven't really changed it ever. So. Yeah, it's at the end of a long, long rest. Well, you I have had uh, one since, uh, since you started this plan, though. All right, if DM allows it, then I'll just give it to you. Yeah, I'm going to allow. I choose to allow. You have enough. You've had enough time since you landed on this planet and got all of this intel. You've had several long rests, just waiting for like, like between the choke, between between Chopa leaving your ship and making a phone call, coming back the next day, you had a long rest. Two days have passed since we came here. I'm always keeping track. It's amazing. I don't want to know. <laughs> you want to know how long since the game has started? I'm terrified of the answer, but okay. Hold on, let me, uh, numbers. Continue on while I numbers. Never mind, 92 days. That's it? <laughs> yeah. It's actually more than I thought it'd be. Considering we're level 6, it's actually pretty average. I mean, there's also the fact that we we sat still for like an entire month. Oh, hey, easy, we took like three months to build a base and instantly left it. <laughs> for for my distraction, I want to turn into somebody. What is something okay. you think I is like? What do you think I should do? Because I'll roll whatever you whatever you want. I just I really don't know. Do you want to be distracting in a hey, let's kill that guy way, or distracting the what's going on way? Preferably not, hey, let's go kill that guy, but if that's what it comes to, sure. Someone very sexy, so someone that's not you. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh no, this is the worst way. This is the worst Wait. answer you're gonna give him. No, Jin, Jin, stop and think about it. <laughs> Izu considers himself hideous, and he is the most handsome of all of us. That's a compliment. If he's saying you're ugly, then that means you're the same ugly as him. I yep. Mean, oh, okay. <laughs> it's, it's, it's like Bizarro rules. Alright. So... Hmm. I, I, can, I can't really turn into it like something massive like a Rancor, but I can turn into something slightly bigger than me. So what's like the most distracting thing? I'll ask is the DM. What's the most distracting thing you can think of to turn into? Honestly, I'm just thinking of a of a Twi'lek in a bikini. That's just all I'm thinking of. I mean, that's what happens when you play with a bunch of men. I mean, that's, that's 
<laughs> that's that's straightforward, I suppose. They're Mandalorians, so I hope they're all men. Right? On 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 one hand, I'd say that wouldn't work on me. I'm asexual, but on the other hand, I'd realize I realize. Wait a minute. I'm defending something, and a fucking girl in a bikini just walked up. I'm going to investigate what the fuck she's doing here. What yeah, is regardless, it's distracting. Regardless, <laughs> I'm going over to find you out. You can also just, like, turn into a really fat guy without a shirt on who's eating, who eats a whole jar of eggs. <laughs> nah, that's, honestly, that's not distracting enough. I'd be like, okay, wow, that guy's gross. Fine, whatever. <laughs> it would still be the question of what is he doing here? Why is he eating eggs? No, 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 here? you avoid eye contact in that situation. You don't go to investigate. <laughs> oh, then he just gross. gets to go over and open it. Nobody's looking at him. They don't want to. But the whole point is for them to look at me instead of I, uh, Izu. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be. We I'm gonna switch dress, roles like, mid of the mission. I'm gonna, I'm gonna look like a, I'm just gonna look like a really sexy Twi'lek in like this really skimpy outfit. Okay, you're gonna have to roll me a luck check to see if this works. I can do performance. I can do performance. You can do perform. Okay, performance. <laughs> but I need a luck check too um, to see if this is applicable. This is a terrible plan, and I love it. Okay. I love the idea that, it, that he goes, Oh my god! <laughs> I just walk out flunking my little tentacles around. I just make you a the model, this is a catwalk. throw my hips left <laughs> and right. So here's left. the thing oh about god. you, Jen. It's like, you're thinking, it's like, what kind of women would two heteronormative Mandalorian men be into? Uh, because it is two heteronormative Mandalorian men. Uh, who are guarding this place. And you're just... Uh, I feel like you you have to sit there for a moment and think, what is, the, like, the ultimate fantasy for a Mandalorian man? <laughs> so you turned into a really tall lady, first of all. You, know, you, use you your, turned into an Amazon. <laughs> Big Don't lady! We lick with nothing but loincloths. Got it. <laughs> so Why does it have to be a Twi'lek? This gigantic cyborg Twilight woman, who's and uh, these two guys. Uh, this baby's all natural. <laughs> Here's the thing. I need you to roll another. I have this I need you to roll another luck check. I need you to roll another luck check. Come on, with a twenty. Yes, dude. This is for something else. Oh, I, that's enough for me to want, want this to happen. One of them just, like, uh, he's, like, runs away. He just You just see one of them run away. He's scared of women. He got oh. scared. <laughs> and the other guy is, like, uh, another guy approaches you and says, uh, don't worry about him. He's just intimidated by powerful women. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, so with Force oh, What mass, the fuck is going play? on? I'm curious. Does this is my nightmare, matter? by the way. I don't like this kind of stuff at all in my games. This is my pure, sheer nightmare. So he just walks up to you and says, let's, so, how are you doing? Let's, let's end the nightmare. Mean, let's end the nightmare. He's doing? distracted. Izu, do something. <laughs> Izu is going to, like... I'm going to say, he's just to be safe, I'm still going to have the communications and just send a picture of what's going on over there to everyone else in the base. Oh no! <laughs> oh my god! They're all coming. It's like a selfie with Jin in the background. It's oh, like, okay, yeah. I'm you, you, immediately get a mess you immediately get a message back. Where did she buy that arm? Uh, so, uh, Izu, you see this massive. How much does she cost? This massive? No, no, no. no I'm, as I'm asking about the arm. What the fuck that's are you going I'm, about? That's what I'm talking about. The arm. You said she. <laughs> Jesus. Anyway, <laughs> yeah. I, Izu, uh, this yeah. place is just basically, they've basically encrusted a warehouse in metal plates. So how are you going to deal with this? All right, so there's no opening whatsoever, right? Uh, not the significant the opening. The doors? There is a door. It's just bolted over in a lot of places. You could I either roll goal. a luck check and leave it up to a roll or come up with something clever. I was just going to say I'm going to uh, pull out my tools and just like, try and open them. I'll roll a tool check to open this. Cool. Would this be considered construction? Yes. All right, I have advantage. Construction tools came up? What? Oh, oh. my God. I succeeded. Everything important. 
Except the time you had to convince someone not to kill you. How does but one describe fair, they did, a Jawa? To be fair, they didn't kill me, so. How does one describe a Jawa making a perfect Jawa sized door in something and then making it like completely usable door? Like you get caught up in the moment, you make a completely functional door with hinges on it and everything, you like and like you're midway through installing the lock and you're like, oh oh crap, I have I'm not so <laughs> You create a ended. perfect door, uh... Hey, Izu. Roll Jesus. a stealth check. <laughs> okay. Only you say please. No. Okay. 22. Okay, because this is where it's going to get difficult. Oh, no. He changed the map, guys. He changed the map. Oh, no. Map change. Natural 20 for a 30. It defies bounded accuracy, by the way. Put Izu on the map at one of these entrances, sure. please. Uh, what counts as an entrance? Here. Okay, so literally like the two bay doors? Yeah. Okay. Yo, it's the mech from Alien. Yo, it's the forklift. So this thing is knocking over shelves, <laughs> shaking boxes, creeping around, looking t uh, terrifying, slinking. Okay, I'm just going to walk over to it. I use my bonus action to dash. It turns around and looks right at you about when you're about here. Okay. I keep moving towards it. Uh, roll initiative. Alright. I only need to survive one round. Oh boy. Gotta beat a 10. I, I would like, I would like no. to ask. I, would I like don't to beat ask, a 10. I would like to ask a question for the party. Yeah. How, how was I able to look at the background of that Twi'lek image and I immediately identify it as the Goofy movie? <laughs> What the what? fuck? I I immediately identified. Yo, that's the Goofy movie. You wait, have wait. Watched, you have watched I that movie too many times. <laughs> that's why. <laughs> I I'm gonna have a stroke. I, for Twitch to understand, I put an image of the Twilight that I I envisioned Jim turning into in the chat. It was a safe for work image Twitch chat, but it's like. I, I'm gonna have an aneurysm this session. This whole session has been so strange. Uh, you love us. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna fucking I looked at kill. the background of the image. <laughs> I looked at the background of the image and immediately identified it as a frame from the Goofy movie. Okay, Izu. Yep. Bye. Bye, Izu. <laughs> First character death. Let's go. <laughs> So What's Izu's AC? 14. So two hit. That's 24 damage. Oh, I'm still standing. I, Izu. I take it. What next? Nope. First, I am activating my electronic warfare platform, specifically my ionizing field. What do? So. So, uh, start of its turn, it will take uh, equivalent to my intelligence modifier in ionic damage. Which will double. Start of its turn. And it also has disadvantage on any saving throws it has while it's within five feet of me. E. Next, I am going to use my. What is it? Ah, here. A restraining bolt and just lash it onto its head. And because so, of my droid restraint stability, the DC is equal to my spell DC, which is 16. So what do I have to roll for this, and what do you have to roll? All right. Uh, I do not, not have to roll. I should do it. Uh, I think I, they're okay. Well, for the restraining bolts, it has to roll a charisma save. With okay. disadvantage. With disadvantage. Oh, boy. I'm so worried for Izu right now. <laughs> Although this would be a hilarious way for him to die. It would I, be. I used restraining bolts recently, so I know how they work. 
If this works, Izu could literally kill God. Which is true because I, I have droid could. gods in my world. So, well, I haven't had you guys meet any of the droid gods yet. Well, there are dro yeah, but no, here's what they're oh, they went and copy pasted. This is what a restraining bolt does. So, yeah, I'll just yeah, pass that on. So, this will take. A con uh, yeah, a constitution save. They changed it. You can do so in half the time. Disadvantage, though. It's a, oh god, you just, you literally put it all on a roll. Oh my god. Okay, so for the sake of this, I'm going to rule that uh, one uh, half of one minute would be 30 seconds. So you'd have to survive. That's, That's five, five rounds. rounds. So I'm going to rule that this takes place at every round. He's going to have to make a constitution saving throw, not a con uh, charisma saving throw, to otherwise be stunned. And after five rounds, he will be uh, restraining bolted. Does that uh, sound agreeable to everyone here? Uh, yes. And I am afraid for if this succeeds. Okay. All right. all right, all right, all right, all right. Let's go. Let's do it. And okay, you said five rounds, right? Five rounds. He's got to make basically five Christmas saving throws. So if he fails this, he's stuck. I will for the next burn. Round. I will burn five of my poor napkins. So each save it has to uh, subtract a uh, d8. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. That's a failure. Oh. Okay. Oh. You keep installing on the next round, Izu. Yeah, keep going. That's a failure. <laughs> Just to be safe, I'm still rolling the D8s. You don't, you don't need to if we already know it's a fail. He's scared. Six. I am scared. And that's a care. success. That one now. That one. Now it's a failure. <laughs> oh, I hope he gets in there. This last one. This could. Uh, this is two more. I'm freaking out. This could literally be Ezu's death here, you guys. It could also be Izu's ascendant. Okay, that's God. a fail. Okay, come on, come on. Come Last on. one. Please get two nat 20s, Basilisk Wardroid. I want to kill Izu. Don't you dare get two nat 20s. Come on. Yeah! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I never fail. Yeah, boy, let's go. The most dangerous being in the galaxy is a fucking Zawa. <laughs> and you know it. The most dangerous being in the galaxy is Izu. <laughs> so uh, you jump up out of this oh, thing. You just start installing. Oh, <laughs> and now you now you have a mount. Uh, now you have a mount. Because <laughs> yes. you can control you can control the fucker. You can you oh, now remote you get, can now remote control this droid. <laughs> oh no. Uh, so oh, this no. basilisk war droid is basically you're on top of it and you can feel this whole thing shaking with pure primal animalistic rage it is seething at being restrained with this restraining bolt and you can actually tell looking at this restraining bolt that uh this thing is on the fast track to burning out but uh my second one i attach it on yeah you just start attaching to restraining bolts and you can tell that something you have the engineering prowess to know these restraining bolts won't last forever but you've got time you've got plenty of time to do whatever right. it is you need I to do. I am going to turn it on, activate it, and say, hey, if you're angry, you want to blow some shit up? Oh my god, Izu swore. I, I, I've sworn before. He, he just said eat Chuta or something like that, whatever Star eat Wars are. Eat. You eat, want eat, a walkie? Eat. Rah, rah, poo, dee, tra, pa, ka, poo, 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 poo. Exactly. Poo, 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 Big Boomba. <laughs> Big Boomba. <laughs> Boom. So here's the thing. It looks at you, and uh, it does not seem to understand you. I'm speaking binary. It does not speak binary. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, I will just... You can still I don't speak Mandoa. You can still control it. You don't need to talk to it. Yeah. All right. I'll just hop on and start piloting it. Like, okay, let's get out of here, and I'll start... 
Can it fit through the door I made? No, you made a Jawa size it's door. A Jawa door. Oh my god. All right, I piloted to go towards it and rip the hole wider. So, so I'm going to roll two checks here. First, I'm going to roll a strength check. Wait. I will help with that. So, uh, that's a 21. And it just, like, reaches into the hole you made in the wall and just, like, and rips it open. And now it's got to make a stealth check for not being noticed by this guy. So, uh, at, uh, so outside of this warehouse, you see something happening. Uh, you see something happening, Jen. You see a big old arm, a big old robot arm come out of the hole that Izu made in this warehouse. So oh you boy. need to make a distraction check. Uh, you need to make a performance check to distract this guy as this droid is breaking out of here. And it's got to be a good one. Talk talk about your cybernetic arm. That's what all men care about. Uh, he did say he was going to go for an all-natural look. At, but, uh, so you have to roll a performance check and distract this Mandalorian. All right. How the hell does she get earrings in her pounds? Very, very hot needle. <laughs> How did Twilight Cones work? I don't want to know. Technically, it's their brain, so... Uh, no, not the, not the Leku, the cones on her ears. So. Okay. Uh, oh. Performance, performance check. You need to roll a performance check. <laughs> Anything you can do to uh, improve that? I can... Hold on. I, I think I can do a couple things. Hold on, wait, is, uh... Okay, that's not con con concentration. Okay. Now, this basilisk war droid has to roll stealth with disadvantage. <laughs> He's breaking out of here. I would be like, why would the basilisk war droid think to be stealthy? Because he doesn't want to get guns. caught again. It doesn't want to get well, caught he again. He doesn't, think, he doesn't think right now. That's true. He's okay, so we rolled a five. Yeah. Oh, 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 hold on, hold on. Um, uh, I'm gonna. Okay, affect mind. Um, oh no. That that's what I ha that's what I have to do, right? That's the no, thing that, 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 like... that, that, that's mind trick that makes them have disadvantage on investigation or perception checks. No, no, I want them to focus on me. Okay, whatever <laughs> you do, you. That makes yeah, sense that's to what... me. Right. Yep. Like, so like, now this Mandalorian yep, pretty... has to. to... Uh, this Mandalorian, I'm going to call him a Mandalorian Enforcer. Oh, not, no, not a Mandalorian Enforcer. Oh, no. And plus, uh, plus my D4. Oh, don't use those. Fuck that. Man. I know what an Enforcer is. I'm going to go with a Mandalorian Initiate, man. Much hell? better. I'm going to have him roll a Perception so, check. Okay, so, so that's a 12. Okay, 12 is a little more reasonable. Now, if he beats... He, if he beats the Stealth check... He will still be distracted if he rolls below a 12. So he starts to turn around and says, what is that sound? No, 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 no. Are you fucking... <laughs> fuck, yeah, fuck everything! <laughs> fuck you! <laughs> I hear a sound, but damn. Twilight. It's like, I Don't keep... I'm swear I'm hearing something. <laughs> And then you're like, did you just keep talking to him? He's like, man, never mind. Oh, no, I, I, don't, I don't talk because it doesn't affect my voice. You just flutter your eyelashes at him and, like, yeah. roll your shoulders back and, like, oh, stretch out those midriff yeah, area. Just, just put my hand on his face and rub it down to his chin. You should, you should, you should start doing like this. Start doing so he keeps just, Look like, telling you, well, it's it's like, so my mom has a cabin on Mandalore uh, out by a lake. <laughs> And uh, we can go oh out there God. for the weekend, you know, like, just hang out. That is a great view of the old battle scars of the planet. Beautiful. Oh, beautiful yeah, and, place. you know, it's like we can go fishing. I don't know what you're into. It's like, Yo, have you ever been fishing? He's, he's offering you fishing. Go. Uh, <laughs> and uh, he's, he's, he's trying to impress you. And meanwhile, behind him, it's 
I'm going to make a, refer a pop culture reference to something made before all of you except for Mike were born. Again. Again. Uh, I'm pretty sure in I'm the Ace like... Ventura Pet Detective, specifically the second movie, uh, there is a scene where he is inside of a fake rhinoceros, and he has to get out it of comes it. The... Oh. Yeah. <laughs> this is the scene occurring with this basilisk I, no, wardrobe. I don't want to picture that. <laughs> Except this basilisk wardrobe. Just like struggling to get out of this hole, tearing a hole in it. Meanwhile, this guy's just like I, keep trying to impress you. <laughs> it's a full lo Looney Tunes skit. I know that scene. Look, the wall is getting torn to shreds by this basilisk wardrobe. Just uh, so now, and Ezu the whole time is just like I can't help but imagine Ezu holding on to the back and just getting like flopped around back and forth. It's just Giggling horrific. Like a little schoolboy. <laughs> He's like that kid in the cartoon who's like holding the handlebars of the motorcycle, but just like his feet are flapping behind him. <laughs> oh, I love that picture. <sighs> so, you're out of the thing now. What do you do, Ezra? Right. Right. Do I see Jin? You see a lady. Oh, he knows. But I saw, I saw him transform earlier, so yeah, I know it's Jin. All right, uh -huh. I see him and the Mandalorian. I'm going to have the Basilisk Wardroid start, like, running towards them, then fly, then grab both of them, like, eagle style. Oh, oh my god! Are you going to fucking wrestling move them? I'm going... No, I'm flying off with both of you. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> like, making them look like a kidnapping. going to kidnap the Mandalorian. <laughs> I'm kidnapping both of you, yes. Oh, my god. <laughs> well... He's just gonna fl he's just gonna fly up and see how many d sixes it takes for an initial. How does the basilisk wardroid not have proficiency in athletics? That's dumb. <laughs> I will give it a portent. I'm giving it proficiency. I'm giving it proficiency in fucking athletics. This is dumb. So it's gonna have a plus two to this for uh, Jen. First off, squeaky. <laughs> And uh, then he oh, grabs the Mandalorian uh, initiate. No, and for uh, initiate. Damn it! Words. <laughs> what? Am I, I don't know why I make these or do anything. I, uh, you can just throw ease at this point. I should just give you all the card. This is Izu does something, and uh, Izu just does something. <laughs> Nah, uh, it's more fun this way because then we get to like, oh my god, this incredible, weird, extravagant plan actually worked. I mean, let's be honest, Eric. Izu almost died. I did. I fully expected that to fail. Yeah, this is just a reward to his wrist. Uh... Ow, my gallbladder! Ow, my gallbladder! No! Ah! Ah! This is Basilisk Wardrobe wraps his arm around it. And you just fly off holding Jen and this guy. <laughs> oh I, I, would I, I would love to imagine while you're all going to the sunset, he looks over to you and you fucking transform back into like a human male. <laughs> <laughs> My hopes and dreams are crushed. Along with ah, my ladder. Ah, it's going to eat me. I'm going to die. Meanwhile, Izu's on the back just screaming and like smiling. Wee, Houdini. Where the hell do you go with these two? Uh, at one point, I'm just going to drop the Yo, Mandalorian. Go, uh, go, actually, wait. He's wearing Mandalorian armor, isn't he? Yeah. Go get the payday from Chopper. Does anyone, oh does anyone want Mandalorian armor? I would oh. love it. Oh, okay. <laughs> right. Wait, is this, is this like Mandalorian armor, the enhanced item, or just like fucking the best car weave medium armor? Weave medium armor. Uh, yeah, all right, I'll not... just drop him. Ah! 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 Well, I, I, I feel like we still could use that. It, it hard cuts to Isaac Simfel and, and Vecklin sitting on a hill. <laughs> thing. I did and, and, and this is this is in the background as a guy <laughs> screaming and falling. Vecklin's like, do you, do you hear something? No. <laughs> Meanwhile, uh, Simfel is like wearing VR headset. It's like, <laughs> Wait, did you really drop him? I said I really. I said I would want it. <laughs> uh, so I mean, takes sixteen. It's gonna much. it's gonna fall on one of us if we're not careful. That's Here's one below. This is one below. I, I'm just for my own amusement. Uh, for my own amusement, I'm going to roll death saving throws because this was one HP 
away from perma killing him on the spot if he was a player character. So I'm gonna roll death saving throws just for my own amusement for this guy. If he survives, he shall be legend. If he survives, he's gonna death become success. a Oh my god! <laughs> he lives! Wow. But not the he's same. He went through him. somebody's roof. And he is just not not only is he missing his legs, he's <laughs> questioning his sexuality. <laughs> the worst combo. I wonder who he's gonna go after. Is he gonna go after Jin or is he gonna go after Izu? Oh, no, he, well, he, what what I'm way is he going tooling. after he you guys? Hour, I thought he said you probably, turned it off. Probably, no, I didn't. Probably doesn't even know oh. Izu's on the back of it. True. Just got scooped up. Either way, he's as far as he's concerned, day. this thing just <laughs> fell out of the sky. He. He's gonna be out for a while. <laughs> He's gonna be in a hostage. He's man. He he is in a coma. He's just stable. He's just laying on the ground, stable. We will not oh, hear. We will not hear from him for another two years. Look, trust me, Angle. I'm the kind of DM that will bring this back in two years and be like, "Guess what? It's me. It's me, fuckers. It's me." Are you? So, the meanwhile, Mandal the paraplegic Mandalorian. <laughs> But no, uh, for the record, Izu is, once he dropped that dude, he's flying back to the... God damn it, I always forget his name. Uh, scrolling, scrolling. Choppa. Choppa. Choppa, yeah. Choppa. Choppa. Get, get the payday. He did say he wanted us to bring him back his quote-unquote ship. Yep, and I'm bringing it back. So, meanwhile, Sentville, uh, Vecklin, and uh, Isaac. You guys are doing some scouting around the skits. Yeah, I feel like it's pretty normal stuff. <laughs> so, you're going to send an R? Yeah. Invisible? Yeah. Is, that, is there anything really Vecklin cool. and Isaac can do to help with this? I'm going to use my surveillance droid to do surveillance. Well, Isaac, do you have any ideas? I'm going to... Keep an eye out on the outside area of the club. Yeah, yeah, me too. Both of you roll perceptions. Why do you, I will take every single chance you can get to make an eye joke? You gotta do it. You gotta do it. It's horrible. All right, I'm gonna ruin it. It's I'm horrible. Just, I hate my life. I'm just, I, I'm just. I keep. I keep having to make eye jokes. I hate I'm, it. I'm. I'm just gonna make. I'm just gonna use my action to cast guidance on Isaac, because just by oh. range wise, it makes it difficult. What, 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 what does it I want a perception from you anyways, because I want to see what a nat 20 looks like when you're blind and looking okay. at a building. Right. Well, you got a 24, but yeah, sure, I'll, I can do that. That's a, that's a 22. Hello? Oh, my God. Hello? Yo. <laughs> Warren, I was just buzzed out, and I had, like, a robot death sound. Oh, God. Oh, great. Oh. That, was, that was the Basilisk War droid. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> so... How's Harv going into this club? Uh, probably just through the vents would be the easiest way. So mean, uh, she's going to talk to you the whole time. She's going to say, okay, I'm going to do this for you. you got to actually, like, buy me a new crystal for my brain, okay? Or, you know, like, a few more, because I want to figure out what's going on with me. So you're going to owe me if I'm going to do this. And if I fucking die on the job, I'm going to haunt your ass, okay? I am. A, I don't know if ghosts are real. Probably not, because that would be stupid, and anybody who would expect that would be an idiot. So, but if I come back as a droid ghost, I'm so mad. I would be so mad. Nice to know that a Harv chose violence. <laughs> it's always a good day. She's, uh, she says, <laughs> "I'm going in." When Harv violence. I'm going in. Uh, pray for me. You know, if you believe in that. Uh, roll our stealth check. Thank you, Harv. You're doing us a great service. <laughs> You're doing a great service. Your country appreciates your service. I don't appreciate it. Oh, well, you... oh, she says, oh, look, what a surprise. I'm invisible and they can't see me. What a great surprise and turn of events. Biggest shock of my life. And she's walking in. And she's uh, looking around. She's like, she punches somebody in the gut, and they're like, "What just happened?" And, uh, and she keeps walk, and she keeps going and floating by. She's like, "This is pointless for me to eat. 
Like, why do am I even trying to be stealthy? She's completely stealthy, though. Nobody notices her. And uh, she's like, okay, what do you want me to figure out here? Uh, what exactly do we want to figure out, team? The numbers, the layout. Okay. Yeah, probably establishing like, a hollow map of the place would be a great thing to do. Okay, so she establishes well, okay. a hollow map. It's basically what you guys see on this map. And she's like, yeah, yeah, corner, 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 corner. Yep, look at that. She's take, taking a picture. It's like, oh, look, there's a guy passed out in the corner. And it's a puddle of his own vomit. What a great day for me to be a droid here. Oh, look, they got a back room where they, they can have a meeting. Oh, look, she's in there. Up, oh, up, oh, she just shot a guy that owed her money. Steve's going through her rebellious teenager phase. She, she's always in the teenage phase. She has an <laughs> age. <laughs> gotta give her more crystals, man. I gotta get her more crystals, yeah. That's once, my bad. Once you get her crystals, she'll get older and become mature. Well, at least she's out of her depressed, suicidal depression phase, okay? True. Yeah, honestly, this is this is the good ending. <laughs> we should also figure out like how what 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 their numbers and armaments are looking like. So I'm counting like fifteen of them right now. Uh, and then she like gets to this back room back here, and then uh, when she's in this back room, she sees a trap door, and she's like, oh, uh, look at that! There's a door in the ground that they go in and out of." Good place for us to go. We could sneak in there, and then we'll just have the Mandos blow the front door open and go to town. We can Should I go out. into the door? Uh, sure. I'm going into the door. And she goes oh, down the door when a Mandalorian is going down. She's just like, Brrr. so you're gonna have to roll another stealth check. You're gonna have the advantage because you know it's stealth. Wow, uh, she's invisible. She's like, yep. Whoa, yeah. I did not need to start So she the stabs her like, twice in the neck. And like, ah, <laughs> no, ah! no. <laughs> <laughs> she fucking malfunctions. No. She has her, her uh, complete mental breakdown, uh, but not for real. Okay. It's, so it's she okay. just. She, uh, she, she has, she's a level in rogue. She gets sneak attack. <laughs> she just. Uh, That's true. Jetson's car sound goes down. And uh, when she gets to the bottom. Uh, she's like, oh, God. And you guys just see the whole drug lab. And you see, like, there's a tank where they're, like, they've got, like, a little hippopotamus that's, like, the size of, a, of like, a small pug. And they've got it, like, in a thing. And it's just like, and they're just, like, squeezing the liquids out of it. And uh, it's, it's very awful to watch. It's like, yeah. It's, like, the worst thing any of you have ever seen. Semtel has to watch it all. And uh, this is when you hear Harv say, Semful? Yes, Harv? If you ever make me do this again, <laughs> and I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> this is downright traumatic. I was stuck on a planet for, four, for 50 years, and this is more traumatic than that. That's valid. I was in slavery, and I'm also traumatized. <laughs> Wait, what's going on? Why are you talking about it. your slavery? We're bonding says. over uh, juiced hippos. Wait, what? <laughs> what? They brought, they have they have showed trauma. All right. Great way God. to change the conversation. Love it. <laughs> <laughs> Great way to change the conversation. We're bonding over juiced hippos. I mean, it's a... no. exactly. Nobody will happening. ask any follow up questions because they don't want to. So do you want me to <laughs> grab? Uh, and she's like, "There's about five more down here." I think there's about 30, 30, uh, based on all the different ones I've seen, there's about, I want to say 25 of them here. We're going to need all the Mandos then. Wait, 25 uh, Mandalorians or 25 Hippos? 25 men. there's no, I'm not, the, she's like, there's a fish tank full of those Hippos. She's like, there's five of them in there. Okay. I believe these are the Gormani that you guys were talking about. Uh, at any rate, I'm going to go completely insane, and I'm going to leave. So you're going to have to roll her another stealth check. Ooh, 
Thank God for that invisibility granting advantage. So you just out of the uh, out of there. I keep making the Jetson sounds, uh, a Jetson car sound because it's the only thing that can play in my head when there's a hovering vehicle. Uh, Uh, <laughs> God, man. Somebody just said that to me, okay? He just had to share, huh? Yes. So, uh, anyways. So, Parv gets back, and meanwhile, uh, you guys just, uh, and around the time Parv gets back, you guys all see something nightmarish. You guys are, like, sitting on a nearby hill. Uh, watching this uh, thing go by. You're like outside of town. And then you just see this basilisk war droid come flying by. Oh, God. With a really thick-looking alien. Thick-looking alien. Thick might be the wrong word. It's more like thonk. 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 I, I, don't, I don't see cybernetics, so I do not care. I don't see cybernetic. So you don't care about the giant basilisk war droid just flying around? Yep, I mean, that, 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 is, that is entirely cybernetic, so that's really cool. Like, the woman, there's no cybernetics in here. Fucking ugly. Fucking ugly. Alright, well... Um... I think they succeeded in their mission. <laughs> was... Was this their mission? You guys I think that's what they were doing. You guys didn't know that we were making a distraction. You, you <laughs> just know we went after the basilisk war droid. It's flying, and there's yep. <laughs> so yeah, I just I just noticed chaos happened. Therefore, mission accomplished. <laughs> so, yeah. So, so where is Jin? I guess we. Yeah. Pull up my about the fuck. I pull up my com link. <laughs> Jin, do you copy? Jin, you copy. I copy! Oh, <laughs> Is everything okay? Do you need help? Jin, are you there? <laughs> Jin! I don't know, guys. He's, he's, something's, something's wrong. He's should, dead. I think he's in danger. Should uh, we have? Should we head over to the fucking droid cell? Maybe. Izu leave him behind or something? I, Izu, do you copy? <laughs> Jinny, hey, what's up? Is Are you and Jin okay? Yeah, we're fine, why? You hear the wind blasting. You have something to do with the war droid? I am. I am. <laughs> Best um, answer. <laughs> I'm, I'm sending you the coordinates where we are. Uh, just meet us there whenever you're done. Why is Jin not responding on his communicator? He is! He's just very upset because I dropped his friend and also he's being held by a claw. What? You... Don't worry about it. We'll see you later. Wait. Hangs up. Why isn't this working? Okay, there we go. I think he's, uh... I think everything's okay. <laughs> he's, he's... I think... I think whatever they were planning to do... Okay, I think it worked. So the question is, where are you going to hand off? <clears throat> what the hell are you going to do? The... What the fuck? Yeah, that's pretty much the session. What the fuck? <laughs> are these doors, DM? Outside? Yes. Okay. So there's... We have a lot of people with us. And... What do you... What do you guys think? Do you guys want to split up like the Mandalorians from the party? We could go in through one door, or they can go through other doors. So we got three. It looks like we have three entrances to this place. This, you know, this place, the front door, what it looks like, and then the two back doors back by the dumpsters. We we should definitely try to like box them in so they can't escape, or else they'd fucking go and start tattling. That's true. These who can cut communications allegedly, you know, but yeah, but I mean, if they we, get out, we, then we, we well, they still have, they still have mouths. Yeah, what if we them. push in through every entrance? Yeah, we're gonna. That's what I mean. If we could split some Mandalorians up, and we could go because if this is if this is correct, this is a side room that we can kind of get in, and then this place here looks like almost like where there's like music being and stuff being done, or it's a bar or something. So 
easily if we go here, we can uh, go in and like secure this back area. Meanwhile, someone else has to go here too. Even if we need to, I could detonate one of the exits. That's tr we could we could just we could just we could just trip we could just trip mine a door. Also, DM was were there civilians in this place too? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I <sighs> figured that was going on. So yeah, this is gonna be pretty crazy. Which means, yeah. Which Maybe means we'll th there's, there's, there's this whole thing about no one can talk. Yeah, you gotta make sure that those people can't leave. Maybe, we, we, should, maybe we could make an assault when it's closed. Don't gotta worry about civs. That might make it a little less, a little, little less difficult. That's a good idea. Did we notice that this place closed though? But when it's does a, a nightclub it's open close? all day and all night? But right, the so lowest you... traffic times are during the day, but that's also out when the uh, clan just is out doing community services and being a general benefit to the community. You know, when they're not killing... Oh, minus the drugs. You know, we, well, we get it. We get it. Both Chapa and Jest are good for the community. It's just that one likes drugs, the other likes fucking murder. Look, both uh, have different values. Besides, I mean, Chopa got, got better. I mean, so will Jest. Look, I think the, I think the way we're gonna do it, that ain't gonna be a ain't gonna be a situation for them anymore. All right, what do you got? Where do you guys want to go? When admittedly, this area, the dance floor, is the biggest area, and probably where most of the Mandalorian should go because they would definitely stop. They could go in through here and stop them from trying to leave through the front door. I'm down to go through the front door, especially because I'm going to be using a gun, so I'd rather a big open area. Well, okay. I don't know if you guys want to split up or not. I mean, I'm just, I'm just being completely open. We could just go through the front door, and then we could send like Chopa's people through other doors. a lot of areas to cover in the main door. And also, are we just trying to eliminate and hold everyone in? Do we want to try to... No. I guess it's that... Another thing. Is there... Is... I mean, because we can cut communications, but can we turn, like, the power off to this place? Is there a power generator somewhere? That would make even more chaos? No, this is... A Part of the city power grid. Okay, okay, okay. Makes sense. You could detonate it from the grid. You could detonate an electromagnetic pulse in high orbit. Take out a uh, nuclear warhead in orbit. Take out all the electronics in the city with an electromagnetic pulse. But uh, that might not be. Well, I, find I could just. If I find a new. I could just. I mean, it's all. Uh, really what were you gonna say, Ethan? I could. I could just cap off the power for the block. Out. If it's a city power grid, then there has to be a, a set, like a router network for this specific area. I, I just put a cap on that. Then don't. Well, either way, we need to make sure you're able to cut communications first and foremost. Obviously. Okay. But if we nuke the atmosphere, I don't need to do that. So that's why I mentioned that. You got a really that's a good idea. <laughs> I guess I don't. Nuke think we have a I have a ship. With the power core reactor. Did you, did you say nuke the atmosphere? Yeah, we... <laughs> basically create an EMP effect with that. Yeah, but that would also radiate the atmosphere, so... That's... Yeah. Uh, that, that, uh, would, that would cause massive radiation and fallout. And it also and yeah. it probably also would draw attention. Air, yeah. air burst nukes are arguably more dangerous than like ground impact ones. Because they spread radiation at a much larger area than just hitting the ground and blowing up. That's why you use hydrogen bombs. Yeah. Let's just uh, let's let's just go <laughs> back to our original strategy. Let's, let's let's stop let's stop talking about how blowing up a nuke in the air, despite the fact that it doesn't blow anything up, is arguably more deadly because it's just gonna fucking 
take so much of the area in radiation and make it uninhabitable. I have an idea. Why don't we create a virus? <laughs> Why don't we create <laughs> oh a <my> virus? God. <laughs> oh God. I hope you're talking about the computer version. Uh, yeah, <laughs> no. <laughs> Corelia, that'd be just as bad, I mean. <laughs> Why don't we just close all the doors after we block communications and just smoke them out, like suffocate them slowly? With all the civilians inside, too? No, 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 smoke them out first. That's what I said. Oh, so, like. Throw a bunch of tear gas in. Great. Okay. Sure, I, will just I will point out, you guys got a bunch of Mandalorians coming. Yeah, I was, I was about to say, we probably even just bust in and have some Mandos stationed at the doors to block off exit. Yeah, and we could also have the majority of Mandalorians come in with us, so there's lots of bodies in the way, and there's lots of people shooting. It's, 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 a, it's proper chaos. Well, meanwhile, a couple of Mandalorians block the doors, lock them, weld them shut, whatever. So they only so they can't get out, and then we just go in. Did um. Did Harv like find any like secret access tunnels or something or like? Yeah, uh, she just what? found what she found was basically that they have some secret tunnels beneath the. Uh, in this room in the back, there were secret tunnels. Uh, basically, that's where their drug labs are. All right. Did they did they lead out or is that just a room? AK uh, was there another? It seemed like there was were there escape exit? tunnels there. All right, so, well, that will, that'll make it more difficult. So he, all right, here's my idea. Okay. We do the whole frontal assault thing, but I will diverge from the group, and rather Let's than coming through it. a door, rather than coming through a door, I'll just blow up this wall, and I'll just fucking, co I'll just collapse the entrance to the fucking escape tunnels. That'll be my entry point. Just fucking blowing a hole in the wall. I have so many bombs. Let me use them. We could all go through that wall, while the Mandalorians go through the front. Yeah, door. but I but I feel like we do. Maybe maybe one person comes with me, but I feel like based on spacings, we'll probably need some people up at the front to help the Mandos. All right, fair enough. I'm pretty tanky, obviously. I'll take the I'll go through the front door with every, with people. Yeah. Fucking simple Jin or easy. One of them could come with me. So, here's let's, my... Let's fucking... Here's my suggestion, so that we remember this. Because uh, we're getting... We're getting on, like, the yep. third hour. Let's put our fucking tokens down at our point of entries. Good call. So, basically, are you going to go in through the escape tunnels, then, I said? No, I'm going to, I'm going to blow the, the wall next to the escape tunnel. And just nice. fucking come in through there. And it's also going to collapse the entrance. I don't does, think I can fucking... There are I, probably multiple tunnels, so I don't think I can collapse all of them. That does leave the problem of the people in the tunnels, in the drug labs and tunnels, escaping, though. There, there, Is there, there are, a way for... There, there, there are already people, there? like, actively in the tunnels. Yeah, there's a drug lab down there. Let's fill it with acid. Better idea, let's, let's fill it with gas. I mean, what you also could do is... You need to blow that door open, and then just lob a few grenades down there. Try to get as many as they can, and then do what you got to do. You could also, like wherever it comes out, just put a big box on it. Hey, uh, you know, uh, roll a lore check for me with advantage, Central. You know what this? What's the side? I, as the Dungeon Master, sometimes have to give you guys uh, hints on cool ideas. You know what's the size of a big box that you can bring into this bar? Basilisk War Droid. Oh my god. I mean, if Chopa wants to bring that SOB in. Uh... Do we want Chopa to know that we have his War Droid? Uh, Izu's already returning it to him as we speak. Yeah, I uh -oh. already returned it. So I'm, just saying, uh, I'm just saying as the Dungeon Master, if you guys want to cut off their escape route, putting the giant basilisk orchard at the end of that tunnel, <laughs> that's a way. That's a, good, that's a good idea. Yeah, but we don't know where it ends, do we? Yeah, either. It's like... Uh, oh, we, uh, we know do. Where it yeah, ends. Uh, 
uh, uh, what you call it, uh, or I've mapped everything out. It just, like, oh. leads somewhere out of town. It's oh, like, so it's, it's not like a massive, long, massively long tunnel or anything? Just like so, it's... there's not, like, multiple tunnels? It's just the one? Yeah, it's not super well made or anything. Uh, they, yeah, we could uh, set the war droid <laughs> yeah, at it's... the exit, and then I don't even need to breach the walls. Yeah, well, I'll, we'll... When we arrive, we'll tell Choppa that. So, uh, Izu, you're gonna meet up with Choppa. Where are you doing this? Uh. Oh, well, uh, where do I find Choppa? Where is, like, when I call him up, like, hey, I have your droid. Where do you want it? What do you mean you have my droid? I send a picture. It will drop my disguise uh, before we land. Dear God, what do you mean you have my droid? Meet me outside. I of just the sent you. All right, I will, and I sent you a picture. Look. He sends you some coordinates. Yep, I follow them. I didn't expect this whole session to be planning. I expected most of the session for me to be killing you guys. Uh, yeah, I expected us to be fighting the ship by now. Uh, it's weird how stuff plays out. So anyway. Uh, you land outside of the Coronet City, and you see Chopa's there with his speeder. Uh, do you land uh, the Spatula Spore Droid? Yep. Uh, he drops me first before he lands. I'm not getting crushed. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's right. holding you. How high like up are you when he drops you? They don't have hands. They only have. Feet. I will slowly lower the basket towards Roy to like ten feet up the air, then drop you. Okay. Once Just he's tight. dropped and once he clears, I will land. Roll an acrobathletics check. Two. Uh. Hey. Jim. Acrobatics. Acrobathletics. Okay. Yeah, you land on your feet. Dang, I really wanted to kill you. Hey. Ten foot drop, murder. Yeah. Ten, ten foot drop, he gets 1d6 fall damage. Uh, not with this. He rolled decent enough. Yo, it's special. It's it's sand. At any rate, either you lower the droid, and Chopa approaches it, places his hand on its head. The droid is shaking. I take off. You what? I take off the restraining bolt. Oh, he! Will, I was gonna say he sees those restraining bolts before you can even do that. He gives you a nasty, nasty look. I point to the blaster burns on my suit. He was biting. Get off my droid. I will, and I'll shimmy off, but take the restraining bolts off as I do. Listen, we fr he freed it from you. Would you <laughs> rather have, have it... From him? No. He freed it. Would you rather... It be stuck in captivity and you not having it right now. He uh the war droid. He has to hold back. He says something in Mandalorian, and uh, the war droid restrains itself from immediately going to crush Izu. Izu gives the war droid a thumbs up. Chopa approaches you, Izu, and says, give me, that wall. give me the restraining bolts. Oh, there you go. I give them both. I took them off, so yeah, I give them to them. They're useless now, I think. Hello? He's just, uh, he's he staring at you in angry silence, is the thing. No. He's just staring up at him innocently. If you ever do that again to my droid, I will make sure it's, that the I, last Jawa is indeed the last Jawa. If That's you're the, that bad that you lose the droid again, I would feel bad, so I wouldn't. You have your you have your droid. 
There's no need to make threats. You paid, remember how you gave us a job to free your droid, your ship? It's free now. It's in your hands. We got it here un unharmed. We were harmed. Your droid was not. It is safe. It is sound. There's no need to make threats. He looks at you. He says, you're right. So I'm going to handle this nice and calm. A little frustrated with how long it took. The important thing is I have him back. If you ever need someone to fix them, let me know. Perfect. Do we have a plan for killing Clan Just? Yeah, we, oh, we do. All of them. Our, 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 our people have been scouting at the area, and we have a pretty good plan that we've come up with. E. And I, e, Zoo, or Jin, I guess, could radio the others and have them communicate about what the plan is so he's aware of it. Pull them up. It doesn't matter. Yeah. So. Let's uh, skip a little bit ahead of time and imagine that we have, you have all of the Mandalorians here, you have Chopa's whole clan, you have this Basilisk war droid, it's the day of the assault, however long on the, uh, what you call it, on the skids. So what's your guys' plan? Uh, put your guys down. Uh, yeah, I feel like we just, like, have, um, have Izu overload the comms, just completely blow them out so that they can't be used, and then we just at run in and attack them, have the Mandalorians come in through all the entrances and exits and block them off so that there is no chance of escape. So. Oh, um, and we have Chopa or ask him if he can, you know, be at the entrance or have um, a couple of guys at the entrance of the um, uh, exit tunnels to get any uh, stragglers that try to escape. I really have, like, Chopa to be the up and front center with us. Are you sure you want that? We well, want him and the war droid down, down, down below, but we can have a couple of his lieutenants with us, Jim. Okay. I mean, I, I don't make all the decisions. You guys can. But no, the the idea is just to keep the war droid by the exit tunnels. So put up a ladder for them. any to get out. Yeah. No. Well, yeah. yeah. Okay. So how That's many? Uh, like Eric. Yeah. He's got I, I like 30 mandos that he's going to have for this assault. He wants to hold the rest back to prevent reinforcements from showing up. Makes okay. Sense. So I, I, would, I would like to say I said before to fucking place your tokens where you wanted to breach. Easy, are you going to be breaching from the top right? Because I'll go with you. Uh, I was thinking I would breach from the top right because that seems to be the least number of people are, and from there Izu can come into like this spot over here, which I assume is like the DJ station. That's the or something. bar. The or the bar. bar. Oh, okay. DJ DJ's station. over here. Ah, all right. I just because like I literally just want to be a thing in combat where he just hacks into the DJ console just to play Jawa Rock because you know, we we knew where you were going. <laughs> yeah. So reaching nobody, over nobody, here would probably be smarter. Is right. anybody going through the secret tunnel, or are we just gonna like? Well, we got the uh, we got the war droid going down there. there. Okay, okay. Door over here, Izu. Doors over oh, here. Okay, I'll go with these mandos then. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll breach this way. Make sure that I can send group with you. Oh god, this is gonna be when Boop finally dies. Boop finally dies after Isaac doesn't defend him. Ah, he boop. Hey. boop can be rebuilt. 
He can. He's, pro he's probably got a bug planted on him. Don't know where it came from, though. So. <laughs> I have a bug on him yet. Uh, we're going to be ending the game a little yeah. bit early tonight because it just seems like this is an appropriate place to uh, end the game. But I want to end it on a cliffhanger. Easy. Roll a tool check for disabling the communication checks in this building. Oh, what tool would that be? Just any tool or? Uh, whatever tool you think is appropriate. Uh, technically, I think it would be a slicer's tool, because, like, I'm hacking into communications, but... Nice. <laughs> Why? What? There is no name. It is a nameless role. <laughs> yeah, I didn't click anything, though, so that's the thing. <laughs> what? No, the, the sheets music. become sentient. I'm not going to count that, because whatever happened there was evil. That's... Okay, that's like my modifier for my tools, but like, what's the... Okay, I'm not going to ask. I'm just going to... Uh, yeah, there there yes. yeah, 24. So describe to me how you take out the communications. So once we're coming in, I kind of like pull up my wrist pad, uh, check the radio frequencies, and then interface with them. Once I make sure that all the radio frequencies are intertangled through a trace... I'm going to then activate my electronic warfare platform, click a few buttons, and then boop, blow out the speakers and everyone's head comms inside the building, disable communications, and then purely in the audio speakers for inside the building. Ba na 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 na. So, uh, what you don't see is inside this Mandalorian comes running out of the security station and says, Boss, something's wrong with the cops. They all just blew, I think. And, uh, and Jawa Rock is playing over the speakers. Samora just gets up and says, we're about to have company. Then an explosion occurs in the distance. And uh, everybody will roll initiative at the beginning of the next game. But this is where we're going to leave off the game tonight. We're ending a little bit early, uh, which I hope you're all okay with. It was a weird session. It absolutely was. Planning is always weird. Ducking sound. What was that? What? I, I keep hearing like this sucking sound every so often. I don't know what it is. Is it it's this? Probably me. It's probably me. Look, I hear all sorts of weird sounds on my end. At any rate, uh, weird session today, you guys. Uh, hope you enjoyed it anyways. Yep, it is you. Uh, thank you for playing with me. Thank you for continuing to humor my weird Star Wars fan fiction. Uh, thank you, Twitch, for watching, whoever watches. Uh, sorry it was a little short this week. I promise next week will be longer. If anything, we'll probably go overly long with everything I've got planned. Uh, so see you guys then. Uh, one second. Uh, how, do I, how do I stop? How do I stop the... The stream never ends. I don't know how to... It's, it always confuses me.